Hello, everybody. Yes, this is Pigeon News brought to you by GSME TV, Rosalind Odubo reporting. So today we are going to talk about everything where they happen for inside Edo State. Edo State now, our own state for inside Nigeria. So we won't talk about the whole thing where they happen. So today, not be only me one day inside the studio. So I get too many people, enough people, we need to chuck my for inside this matter we won't talk about. So make everybody feel free to leave us comment to uh, either call to make your own contribution. Feel free to ask your question um, or to answer any question. Everything we won't talk about today now, about politics, about insecurity for Nigeria, unemployment and kidnapping, killing, rape, courtesism, head, headsmen, all of those things where they happen for inside a those states. So we won't talk about them today. And we won't know whether any headway day, any lasting solution day. So before we go further, make I introduce the people when we with them day for inside this one channel, inside the studio today. Make a sit down tight, I will bring them come one after the other. Okay. Here with me today in the studio, now Mr. Don Donald, all the way from Canada. Don Donald, you're welcome. Yeah, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. All right. So another person with there with me today, now Patience Ukberi, all the way from Germany. Patience Ukberi, you're welcome. Good evening, everyone. You're welcome on Witness. Good evening. Okay. <laughs> Okay. And another person we're there with us today, now Lily Gold, Lillian Emefile at Healthy Gist, all the way thank from you, your Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. And nice yes. to see everybody that is here. Thank you. You do well, oh. I yes. have to go away. Thank you. Lily Gold, you're welcome. Thank you. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Lily God, no one come on. <laughs> okay, so another person with me here in the studio is Cindy Pot Gilbert at Cindy Pot TV, all the way from Spain. Cindy Pot, Hi. welcome. Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I'm so happy to see everybody here. Thank you, guys. Okay. And another person here with me in the building <laughs> is Nebo TV in the building. She is Nekwe Obasoge <laughs> at Nebo TV Canada. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you for this invitation. And I uh, so much appreciate. Uh, thank you all of you. Thank you. And just stay tuned as we continue to discuss about this important issue affecting our state, Edo State. Thank you. You're welcome, Nebo TV. Okay, so we have here the last but not the least is Lucky Etinosa, all the way from Sweden. Lucky Etinosa, you're Good welcome. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for this wonderful program. You're uh, welcome. We are we day happy well, well for this story where you bring we want to talk today. I pray make we get wisdom to talk to our people also. That what we do here will also affect many people's life the way they also reason. Amen. Amen. I join say amen for this prayer. Amen. Well, well, eh? amen. 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 All right. So our viewers and are welcome. And I do well now. Tell the comments, uh, tell what and are welcome. So make una remember to leave us a comment for comment section. All right, because we are in this together. Anything where they affect whether you did diaspora, it not mean say you not be from Nigeria again. You understand because most people they think say once they don't come off for nigeria anything where they happen you not consign them again which is very very wrong so if we not build our country not be foreigners go come build them for us you understand because if you see all of us now where they here we there for diaspora we leave our 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 home country come here i assure you say if this country is where we day not day as good as it is i'm not sure say we go come out come they sit down here 
they even talk at all. We go, they hide our head somewhere. Now, because these countries where we day, it they peaceful. And now people make them they peaceful. Now it can't be say we day here, they enjoy them, they enjoy uh social amenities, they enjoy a lot of things. Where be say, even some of us old finish. Tell us, may we go home? We go tell you, say, lie, lie. Why? Because where we did, we did enjoy them. So the same thing now we want for Nigeria, the same thing now we want for a those states, now make we say, make we carry this matter where they happen now. For inside the those states, make we choke mad put so that the governor go here, the political leaders go here, the youth go here, everybody, even the common masses, then go here, then go know how to do the right thing so that our country or our state go they move forward okay so topic so we won't talk about neighbor politics we we'll go we won't find out whether the way where then they run the politics whether now actually democracy government of the people by the people and for the people are being a government of some people by the politician and only for the politicians so we won't yeah. find out today and also we won't talk about insecurity for nigeria for a those state most especially if I say Nigeria now, because Edo State they for inside Nigeria, because Nigeria now the Oga Kota Kota, Edo State now the Pekin of Nigeria. All right. Mm -hmm. So we won't find out whether the things where they happen for Nigeria, for Edo State, uh, the insecurity, the killing, the rape, the kidnap, the harassment, the uh, courtism and all that. How we see them? Then the unemployment. People go school finish, they not see work. How we see them? Is there any way out? So please leave us your comment. Uh, call us. Uh, answer our question we also answer your questions and see how we can move this country or this state forward okay first on my list i want to go to uh, mr lucky okay i want to go to mr lucky mr lucky i want me you uh took my put for inside this matter how you see the uh, those state policies you they enjoy them a being Hello. you not know, enjoy them. Good evening. Now they hear me. Yes, but yes. before you before you talk, it be like uh, I, the son uh, they help us most no why. Hello. Me, excuse me, Mr. Lucky. Before you talk, I want to make you help me uh tell us more about yourself so that we could know more about yourself. Okay, my name is uh, Loki Etinosa. Uh, I come from Edo State and uh, from Orion local government. So I live here. In, I did stay for Sweden with my and my family. So I'm happy to be here. So thank God today we want to talk about issue that affect uh, Edo. Edo is my land. And Bini is my is is my it was the country of my ancestors. We were not Nigeria before the British uh, came into Nigeria. So our ancestors were forced and uh, to accept the name Nigeria. And that Nigeria now it don't mafuka the way we be now. That is why me I joined this program. We not go fit us. Say, oh, we did diaspora. We not did diaspora because say we did enjoy uh, too much uh, things for Ole Obodo Ibo. It was our country change small. We were for the turn back. Now so I go fit it. Introduce myself, rich for now. If for that is the way you want make I talk about, I fit it. Tell you if you go ask me. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So tell us how you see the uh, politics in a those state in general. Uh, Generally, we not go. I not go to talk only uh, those state uh, policy. I have to talk about general Nigeria. So okay. the politics way with the way with the run since where we enter this democracy since Obasa so Jota time. Okay. democracy for, for democracy for politician um, by the politician and uh, for uh, for by the politician for the politician. So the people know they know involved. So now that they do since then, as they do and they enjoy both north, south, west, everywhere. So the picking way that politics of uh, uh, of only politician can produce not be insecurity, and that insecurity now it go ever give birth to something. Either they see them, 
their fist arm or they let them make it break the country. As I tell you before, my ancestors are not be Nigeria. So if we did say we'll be one Nigeria, we will come from like a do. You come from data. What do you don't enjoy from that one Nigeria? Uh, the person we asked for it depended for the whole Nigeria and Antony Naro was the first person. So you don't see any place where they, re where they remember Antony Naro on that federal level. Ask yourself. So if we talk, say we, we enjoy the politics, I lie. Only say now we get governor with me, I support. Because why? Uh, some group of people be want to use Godfather as they do before. They go this, they let Ugo rule. So I do say people say, now nah, this one I will want. So to God, we feel get that. And I go see thank this, my sister, the Enable TV for all the support. And most of those diaspora people, we, we know relent. And every support we will give, they talk to our people, telephone call, may they not let that go father counsel to go the rule those they they go. So now that one I mean I see for that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh Nekme mm. Obasogi at Nebo TV. We want me you chook my put for inside waiting they happen for a those states, the politics. Thank you, my people. Thank you to the host of this show. It's wonderful. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, my name is Nekme Obasogi. You know, say many other people don't know me as Nebo TV. Either you call me Nekme or you call me Nebo TV. I will answer you because that, that way too many people, they call me be that. So uh, what did they happen for Edo State? You know, me, I come from Edo State. My father is not from Edo State. Why my mother is not from Delta State? Okay, so I be partly a uh, do partly data 75 percent uh, bini, why 25 percent data? You see, so we are still the same, and the host of this show come from data as well. We are still the same people. So, a uh, do state waiting me, I go talk because they said charity begins at home. Before we look at Nigeria as a whole, may I first talk about some of the issues where they affect people for my state, a uh, do state. Um, you know, say so this issue of security uh, is happening visually in every state of the federation. However, the one way they peculiar to a those states, when we will say they unique to only a those states. Now, this issue of courtesy. When you talk about insecurity, they happen for other states. Oh. Kidnapping, they happen for other states. It happen for those states as well. It happen this uh, crisis of Fulani has It don't they happen for certain region of Nigeria, not just only for the northern region. So, but the one we just they peculiar to us for a those states. Maybe this issue of a uh, courtesy. Few weeks ago, we see many of our boys when they kill. I think many people as they watch so eh, I know so many people don't watch them or see see them for news the way our boys die for streets. I never see anything like that. Not only during war, and now you go see people who just die for streets like that. When me and they grow up, they tell us, say, uh, the youth are the future of Nigeria. But if our youth were those states, could they die because of courtesy? And who will come be the future of uh, those states? Now, wait here, are they always they talk on my show be that? That is not good the way our boys, and they calculate and say, uh, more than 35 boys. Uh, court boys now he just died within a few days for a do state when they kill and since then uh, some of them still they die we see they see pictures and last two or three weeks uh, it, it, it just too much for a do state that they can't say pictures of our boys the way they don't die for streets the only time i don't see say people they die for street like that now if they, they fight one heavy war for any country so this one uh, problem when we say they really they face a do state when not the other state for Nigeria. When we say not the other state to pay a do one is just too much. Now that will be the first thing. And when we talk about insecurity for Nigeria right now, eh, we go find like what did my brother talk say uh, Tinosa say I uh, will not be talking about those state without also looking at Nigeria as a whole. You know, say the system when they run for Nigeria now, now centralized system. Centralized system means say everything they come from the federal government. And the federal government right now for Nigeria, people say we don't get president. 
see our president if anything happen the president not will come out the wife not will come out the vice president some people say that they suppress the vice president that's why you know they talk because it not be you know come from the north so you know say nigeria right now i will say we get one nigeria but if you look at what they go on for nigeria we are so divided we are practically divided yeah the northerners leaders the leaders for the northern region of nigeria that they speak for a different voice why the certain leaders that they speak for uh, with another voice so if we have one nigeria we're supposed to be speaking in one voice in nigeria collectively in decision making we're supposed to come together they speak in one voice but you know they happen like that security the issue of security here eh, now be the major issue when they affect nigeria as a whole, and I see they extend to a dose state. I know say courtism is they a dose state, but improper security day. I think say they will feel tackle this issue of courtism when we say they ravage the lives of our youth. Our youth were supposed to be the future of a dose state. You know why I'm blaming the federal government for the problem when we say they face a dose state? It's because the police, the soldiers, security operators, all of them did under federal government. And the state governor, Governor Obaseki, you know, will feel control the police too much because of the federal mind. You understand? So sometimes if the, the governor, even tell police, may they go arrest or may they provide security for citizens, they know they take what the governor, they talk seriously. Because it, it, the police, now, it's under federal government. When I not say for Nigeria eh, to assess federal government, it's very, very difficult. It is very, very difficult. So because of that, person like me and many other Edo uh, citizens, Nigerians, we call the talk say the only system we will help to tackle this issue of uh, insecurity in Nigeria is to uh, implement this system of federalism. You know, listen, this one is very important because without this system of federalism, states not will feel get their own uh, uh, security architecture. You understand? So that. Uh, like upper second, I will use upper second as an example. As the state governor of a do state, he will implement security for a do state. And whenever there is a problem of insecurity, he will fit tell them, say, provide security for this state. And they will listen to them because now he implement the security outfit. Now understand that that be the difference. But because they deal under federal government, it is hard for the governor uh, to mobilize the security operatives to provide security for citizens in the those states and their properties. So we come to say this uh, idea of federal federalism, it will help because it will give power to states in Nigeria to implement their own security operatives. You understand? And if they if they implement their security and they feel also mobilizing security, maybe they provide security for citizens for those states and many other states in Nigeria. So pets. We know say person like us, and we always they look at things critically. You understand? So well, I, I hope I still have enough time to continue to talk. I yeah, like, okay. yeah, two minutes, then another person. You have more time to talk because we have to uh rotate it. Okay. So mm -hmm. if, if it's enough, just let me know. Okay, yeah, a minute before I will stop. You yeah, know. okay. So we got to say this system of federalism, now you go now go feel help person. For, for Nigeria now, because the centralized system, what would they use for Nigeria? You know, they work for us, but we can still look this case critically. So if, for instance, eh, we allow uh, the system of federalism, when we we'll give power to state governors, may they, they implement their own security operatives. But some people call they talk, say, mm, you know, I don't say corruption too much for Nigeria or among uh, uh, governors for Nigeria. You know, say some governors really they corrupt well, well. You understand? And if you give them the power, may they implement their own security, they feel they use that security to they suppress citizens for their states. Hmm. That one not that thing, you know. You know, the same is so. May we not forget, say, governors say they're not clean like that, oh. all of them corrupt for Nigeria. Now, only few, now, now you see the better small, small. I don't say our governor for those states, they try well, well. <laughs> but many governors for Nigeria, they corrupt. If you look at their history, they're too corrupt. If you give them this power, may they call implement police for their state, they feel tell those police, may they, they suppress citizens. Hmm. Now, I know that seems be that. Now, I can say, hmm, as we want to solve this problem now, here for Nigeria. So, we can say, okay, now, regional police go good. 
we will say regional police, you know, the South South region of Nigeria, and I will get, uh, we get nine nine states. You understand? So the nine states go come okay. together. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, yeah. Nekme. Uh, <laughs> okay. uh, we'll thank come you. back to this because this is your yeah. topic. Eh? It don't enter me where where. It don't enter me. Okay. And I make and I will not going to make you stop and but we need to rotate oh, yeah. so that everybody go get uh, enough time to take talk. You understand? So hold this topic where we're because we need to fire and make them hear and where we're and they enjoy them. Thank you very much, uh, Nekme. Uh, at Nebo, uh, Nebo TV. Thank you very much. So right now, we want to make uh, Lily Gold from a uh, uh, healthy gist. Oh yeah, come Chukman, put for this matter where they shell it for a dose state. Fortunately, you now are from a dose state. Eh? <laughs> Some people go thank there, you, they'll, be like, they'll be like, eh? All right. Yes, so, so I did. I was inside there, though. I did inside that. I were there for burn me too. Mm -hmm. So now the two states. Now I'm there inside. All Thank right. you so much for you to bring us come here. Yeah, uh, well, how many yeah. people done the talk since? So we do once whenever I begin talk when I do well. What we take sit down for inside this story? Why would they talk about politics for Nigeria? Like what did one of our brother talk say? The politics now be like saying are for the government and the government and the government. Now it's supposed to be for the people. But uh, what in me they look for inside Nigeria? They say this uh, blame or this hand what will take the rest to say maybe the rest and for our leaders. Not be only our leaders, now get this uh, to you. Not be only then get the worker inside. Even we whether they lead, we get the worker. Uh -huh. So the area where I go touch now be the robbery when the young people they enter. Because when you look inside now, all these young people, when they enter, when they go do this thief, thief, most of them don't finish school. When they say they don't get work, they don't get work, they don't get work. When we say school, when you go to school, school now just to open your eye. You know what I mean? Say, you go just wait when you finish school, say, the government won't give you work. As you do inside that school, so all of now, thank God, say, nearly all of us when they so not the uh, Oyibo land where we did. The Oyibo land where you go to school, as you do inside that school, so. You gotta think of what you want to do for yourself. You're not gonna wait for only what the government want to do for you. Now I make for America, they will say, What do you want to do for the America government itself? Why you want to serve the country? Not be only when the this one would they talk to governor, governor, president, president, there be human being, there be one person. I not say what in all of the they do say correct. Oh. <laughs> but we when be the people when you go school finish, you're not gonna wait for color work. You go see gun baggy. Ask yourself, say, God, what did you put inside my hand when I go take do something? That's what you put inside my hand. If I never get work, so make I go start her. When you go start her, John start your own. Paulina start your own. You see, say, the, the state go to work out well. But everybody they wait for inside that governor. Say, oh yeah, make you give us work. Oh. So that when we go to work, we'll collect money or maybe we'll do some Mokbango work inside. We'll, we'll take extra money. So you know they move us forward. Now I make all these Yamayama things when they happen for Nigeria. So it's plenty and it's not going to end. Number one. Number two, we not get mentorship. Our young people, when they're there school, so how many of our commissioners or even the governor or people when get money, when go work out, go to school, go say, I want to meet with the students, make a talk to them, to encourage them. To equip them to say, okay, make a begin mentor them. Say, now so I go work out, now so I go work out. Not day, unless now the one when say, oh, you go find go a contract from government. Say, in one mentor people, you will take ten million one mentor people for one hour. You don't even give them anything. Pass a banana and coke when you won't give them. So this story for Nigeria and particularly for our Edo state, I'm not saying many many bad bad things they happen there now. When they say I'm robber, kidnapping, or the governor, if they try, you know. But we, the citizen, we need to join hand, take, enter, take help the governor. And like our sister been they talk about governors. Some governors, eh, they're good. I don't know whether or not see what in a Cross River State governor they do now. You fit right later, go meet the federal government, say, I won't take charge of my police. Because the man, they watch the video that day, when he comes sit down, bagger, he said, enough is enough. He said, this for when they happen so. All these stiff teeth, so he must put end to Ramo. Anybody where they catch now, how are you day? So he buy new new motto for police. All these our police people, they be human being. No? Our police people for Nigeria, they're not be crazy people. But the truth be said, they're not they equip them well, they're not they take care of them well. If you take care of person, the person go act, he go behave. 
This man now for Cross River State, make people see what he need to do for them. He don't get new new police motto. He don't even get a new new police uniform. He self can't wear the uniform self. He call him uh, what did he call himself? Operation or Parako or something like that. So he good say, and those states, the way they say don't say start, they do small, small work. They're going to improve them by improving our young youths. And not be only the governor go to do this work. Business people know. Everybody now go put hand inside table. Say, how we go take, begin mentor our young people, make their brain for the correct. Make us stop. Oh. Make another person enter hmm. because we'll come back again. This your Tori, eh? <laughs> Ah, una, una ready come for me today because uh, <laughs> hey, he said how we go take the mental make their brain for yes. the correct. You go hold that topic. We go still address them because if we get people with their brain not correct, no matter what thing you go do, you not go enter. So that topic it then be very very important. So if I call you back, not forget to chip in that same topic because <coughs> people will hear them. So thank you very much, Lily at Healthy Gist. Thank you very much. All right. So right now, I'm bringing in Don Donald. Um, Don Donald, please uh, tell us more about yourself and um, tell us how you they enjoy the politics in Nigeria and everything where they happen for a those state. Tell us your own point of view. Yeah, my people. On a good afternoon. My name is uh, Donald. And I was born and bred in uh, a do state, Benin, to be precise. And um, I was listening to uh, Nebo TV, and my uh, my brother will come from a do state, uh, Etiosa. And uh, all this problem, what will they talk about? I reside here in Canada with my family, by the grace of God. And uh, all this problem, what will they talk about? This problem of courtism in a do state, uh, not be today start. Uh, he don't tell where this problem they grant for a do state. Why they talk this thing? Be say I I went to those notorious university one time in Nigeria, which is Ambrusali University. You see, one problem when a do state youth get be say all of them want get power. Even the young boy where they born yesterday go tell you, say, you know who I be? All they want get power. Nobody want respect even who senior them or who even feel even mentor them or show them road on how to go about their life, their daily activities. Um, so far, so good. I'm so happy with uh, the way the whole uh, people of uh, those states came together the diaspora and the people of the youth of Edo State, despite they try to one or do one or two things in this uh, 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 past election with our governor, because I was 100%, I came out live on, the, on, on, on social media one or two times, three times, and said something very remarkable about uh, our present uh, uh, governor, because they say stick with SEC, you know, they blind the eye. Uh -huh. Because in another state I grew up, I still remember when they spent millions of Naira, they do only go from Sakoba Road to uh, uh, what did they call this road they get for, 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 for uh, 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 where the Gosmets there end for or Papaba there. We still remember everything about the state. I still remember even, even as the state, they grow, call it as a day. Uh, uh, even before now, now only this time, I will feel guarantee or say the state don't see something reasonable. Because during the time of the previous government, uh, a lot of allocation come the state where people they think say now the state was the table one. We don't want to go into those details. But so far, so good. The governor of the state is doing everything possible. Back to the reason of the the point of a uh, cop teasing in uh, those states. Um, I think the only way forward is uh, for them to create job employment. Because if you check them, um, this court is in where it originate from. This court is in originate from our campuses, our universities. They practice these things right there in the universities. And when those people practice those things, some of them, whatever they learned 
or whatever they do in campus, they say it ends to campus gate. As they are going now, to, they drop it at campus gate. But you see, when somebody don't come face the reality of life, and what you they expect, not be what you see, definitely you want to go back to your own life. There was a time in a those state kidnapping becomes job where small small boys they do. So the reason of the 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 reason of courtism in a those state is one number one. The children of nowadays, or all the youth of nowadays, all of them want to take power. They believe, say, with power, you feel get money for the state. Because so many people have enriched themselves with, with, uh, with that power, what would they talk about? If you check out, there are some prominent people, I know what call names. There are some prominent people where, where it comes, say, they get power. Today, they are millionaires in Nigeria. So if all those youth see all those things, trust me, they want to emulate. They want to also want to take power because they believe, say, even the school where they go, not give them the opportunity to meet up to, to the society. Now they believe the other things where they learn for the campus, maybe the thing where they say, yes, go make them they successful for the state and for the society. So in terms of insecurity for Nigeria, my sister, there is nothing. I'm saying it. Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to make Nigerians lose hope. There is absolutely nothing we're going to do about that at the moment. Why? Because the present government from the federal level, they won't do anything about it. But there is only one thing we can do, which is we are waiting for 2023. If the whole Nigerians can understand that a those state achieve one very particular purpose, one very particular thing by coming together, then they should understand that there is unity in, in success. There is unity in achieving a goal. And there is nothing in life that you put interest in that won't yield for good results. So in, the, in terms of insecurity in Nigeria, there is nothing, absolutely nothing you and I are going to say today that will change worry man. Because I, I, to be honest with you, I don't think that man has the heart of the people. But we are looking forward to 2023. And as we go forward, there are some things I would like to want to say. Because if we can seek for change, the only change we have to we have to do now is what are we doing concerning that change? 2023 is around the corner. The only time we have now is 2021. When we enter 2022, trust me, that year is political campaign and all that because the election is in uh, February or March or whatever in 2023. So what are the citizens of Nigeria doing regarding this? Because if we don't do anything now, if we don't come out with person where we trust now, those old talks, we see those old leaders, we still bring somebody. But by the time they bring two old person come now, we have no choice than to choose one person out of the two where they bring. So in okay. terms of federal level, we will talk about that. But for the courtesy in Edo State, uh, I think the governor of Edo State is doing something about it. And by the grace of God, we just leave everything in the hands of God and we believe something by the grace of God will be done about it. All right. Thank you very much, Don Donald. I would like, that... like to reply something when this our brother talk. Once okay. Uh, uh, no worry. Yeah. No worry. Um, <laughs> Lily Gold, no worry. Uh, Don Donald, thank you very much for your contribution. We enjoy and well, well, and the part where enter me well, well, because everything where everybody they talk, if they enter, if they enter me for my uh, my bone and my marrows, where be say, uh, are they hold on to them? Where you say, make the youth get up to do something to choose who they want for 2021, because if they're not <laughs> doing the cabal, uh, 2023, thank you very much for the uh, correction. Uh -huh. Because if they're not doing, now the same set of people, now then go still sit down there. If they're not sit down, then go come carry uh, old wine put for us for inside new bottle. We go come think, say they don't do change. That will not be waiting we want. If we want change, we want reform, it has to be a better one. So the youth, as they don't stand up for when they feel do the answers, make them get ready to hold the bull by the horn for 2023. Thank you very much, Donald. So I'm moving now to uh, Cindy to tell us what she feel about the 
whole thing with the Shele for Nigeria and most especially for a dual state. So before you go on, tell us a little bit more about yourself, Cindy. Well, good evening, you know, my brothers and my sister. Let me be Cindy Posh Gilbass of uh, Cindy Posh TV. I come from Delta State. And if you look at Delta State, it is very close to Bini, at the same road they pass. So before I will go into one particular matter, I want to talk say the insecurity for Edo and Nigeria, you know, sweet me for Bele. You know, sweet me in the sense that we don't even get security because everybody they fear. Person go there for a house, you they fear. You they waka come out, you they fear. Fear no go let you talk. Fear no go let you buy. Because of the person when they rule us, we don't even know who they rule us. Because if you look at like this, that's a place when the, the president where will be put for there, the chair they empty right now. We don't know who they did. You understand? And then I can't go back inside Edo State. I remember the time when I did grow up, that time we would come from at the come holiday for my uncle's house. You feel travel from Agbo. Even for nine o'clock, we take bus for Agbo B Junction. We they go beneath. You know the fear. But today, you know feed one. Because of if you know meet Fulani Hesmen for road, you go meet Boko Haram. If you know meet Boko Haram, you go meet kidnappers. If you not meet kidnappers, you go still meet caught people. If they don't collect your car, they will cut your leg. If they don't cut leg, they will cut head. So all those things, we don't tire for them. And then, when we talk of courts, what did they bring courts? The Oga, pata, pata, when they, he heard Nigeria, now he be the Oga of court. Now he created the courts. Because now then they use all these small, small boys, where they be our future of tomorrow. Now then they use them as their political thugs. Yes. Because mm -hmm. they, they brainwash these boys. Because they know say most mm -hmm. of them, they, they go to school. They don't even get money. Their parents no 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 nothing too much. Now small small way they get that they take the train there for school. Now they go come they come they they brainwash the boys. If you see Edo boys when they die, I swear they think they come out me tears for eyes because they are too fine. And this now the boys will be say that they they are supposed to be our governors, the senators, the doctors, the president. People will be say they're full of life. They they come out them for their prime. Then just mm -hmm. they die. You know, sweet me for Bele. You know, sweet me in the sense that all those people. When they are pata pata for politics, when they use these boys, then go carry their own picking the way they are born. All of them, they don't come on them for outside Nigeria. None of their picking they for house. They don't come on them go bodo ibo. Mm -hmm. Then they go come carry the picking there for another man because they know they think say woman when born this picking how we take carry this belly nine must not be smart. All of us with the year no way to be for push picking. You understand? Now if you look into a those state, courts don't take over everywhere. People no fit sleep. And they see the news and they think they pay me. Some people they shout, they know they know who's fisting because in a day, court go just they worry everybody. And who be this court is? Make no verse of police na court, soldier na court, governor na court, senator na court, uh, councillor na court. All of them, all of them, no one, no one, and you go come out. So, me or for my own suggestion, I foresee eh, if Nigeria go fit, make we do that thing when Ghana people do their own. Make we do them to all these people. If we go fit, come out them. Come out all of them. Take our hands. Bring the way we want. And that's one way we want. Even though self, some young people self, see, see, get bad belly. Not be everybody good. When we go say, okay, we won't vote this one put. Then we say, now nah, this one, now nah, you go rule us. What if we come put that now? It can still change your mind. We go just put everything for prayer. Say, now nah, God go give us. Person will go really come better Nigeria. You understand? And not only that one self. Even since when this thing don't happen now, all these people where they say that they be prayer warriors, they be pastor, they be this. Where all of them they say, make a ask. Because every Sunday they go, even all of them now they be the, all of themselves now the political. which I go call them? Yes, because in the morning you go say you they pray. You know if you pray for your country, you know if you pray for make this court thing stop. Because all of us they for inside that building. If I they go out, but now not be building, I go pass. Yes, now the same road. If I come from Lagos, now be that junction where you go pass, enter your country. So but if this court stay no stop, or the kidnapping no stop, or this kidnapping, how we want to carry this country go front. And also, I like also to tell Edo people, say that the way they do, when they take come together, the time where they do the voting, come put this uh, governor, so where they say, where's that place, say, but let's sweet me too. Because the man, 
all those people when they don't come, they wear masks, they carry money, but they come, they go bribe. When the way they take cash them, when they even take cash some people with jeep, I see that video too. It was really very good. So if true to like our brother talk, say all these youth go fit come together, hold their bed, let me they get one mind, eh? So that the next one when they come, before you throw away paper for inside ballots, make you look well, well. We all need to shine our eye because like this, like this, so we no get joy for Nigeria. Peace, no day. We don't know where they, they carry us go. Because work, no day. Poverty won't keep people. Bag of rice, you know, fear afford. Boys, just they steal. No, be something go, make person go, they thief. May we not pray for hunger. If hungry cash you, you know, go know where, where to go, where that thief. You go see some woman go, they thief food. Because they need to give their picking them food. All this kind of thing. Now, poverty, insecurity, many things they happen. We be say we need to carry this thing forward. So make I stop here, make another person take over. When I come back again, I still have other things to see add joy for this matter. We carry us come here today. Thank you. Thank very you much very much, much Cindy Pot yeah. from uh, Cindy uh, Pot TV. I enjoy when you talk well, well, uh, most Thank especially you. for the one where you talk same. Make uh, every youth you still join our brother Donald. Say, make every youth hold their belly, as in when you mean hold their belly, not to sit down tight, gidigba from spirit, soul, and body to make sure say they know what they want for 2023. Make them know before they go cast their uh, their uh, paper inside that ballot box. Make it be say not be money, then go collect for back first. Come they throw away for who not supposed they there because you collect money today, you go eat that money right now, right now. The next day, you don't finish who you they vote for. The next day, if you go meet them, you don't know you again because you don't enter office. So, we need to wisen up. Thank you very much. We go to the last Thank but not you. the least, our uh, dear sister uh, patient from Patient Super Talk Show. Make you come explain to us how. Some people know the life of us. <laughs> Some people know. <laughs> okay, so patients talk show. Come and tell us how you see the Edo State and Nigeria as a whole. How you see the politics and everything where they happen. Tell us, may we hear before we go begin our uh, uh, talk about the solution where we, we need to talk about. <clears throat> My people, no good evening. No. Well, good evening. Well, welcome. welcome for this talk, for this uh, broker saying what we are doing this night, um, this evening. Well, um, to contribute what our people have said, uh, uh, the thing is that uh, Nigeria uh, as a whole, including Benin, we, we are talking about Benin particularly here, but including Nigeria as a whole, you know, get ahead, you know, get it. Anything when they happen for Nigeria, Except the person when go see what thing they happen for that and Edo or Nigeria as a whole. Except the person a bad person. Now you go talk say what thing they happen for there. Say it good. Say it like him. Actually, anything when they happen for Edo states is very very bad. Very bad. It pay me so much as a, a woman when I go see those youths, those young young boys when they, they die. All the name of cutties, all the name of all that things. It's very very bad. Come to think about this courtesy as my brother take talk. Say now from university, from the school, then join this courtesy. So when they come out, they not feel stop this courtesy so that then go that is then go plan for their life, for the future, for life, for their life, that is for the betterment of their life. You come out for school, you day school, you join courtesy. You come out, you still carry courtesy, come out outside. See, they do the courtesy. You forget, say, your mama don't suffer, your papa don't suffer. Train you for school. You don't spend many years, like how many years you spend for school now. You don't finish. You don't feel sit down. Train, say, what I go do when I go better for my life? What I go, what I want to do when I go better for my life? They carry courtesy for her head. That one come out. Nigeria say, oh, you know, save. Security, security people that is Nigeria say so it's not safe at all at all. Because in security, they when they there, it's too much. Everybody they fear. Everybody they fear. Different, different bandit. Now would they see bandit they book around there, this one, there, this one, there. Everybody they fear. 
because of waiting they happen for Nigeria. Bini as a party party as a whole. Because this my sister say when you see people that die that when more than thirty or he passed thirty five, I be thirty one. When you call them the boys, when I see he pass, those they die. The future of tomorrow, the generation of tomorrow. The thing is that even as we are talking, I say to uh, twenty twenty three, may them know who they go vote for. May them choose what person. The person where they want to choose, you know whether it go good. Now you go see made that Nigeria good. I've been now go worst. Nigeria go good today. Me, I not believe that Nigeria go good though. That country say go good. I don't believe that. The light is this Nigeria terrible. Please tell it Wait, because I, I we are not seeing any light that Nigeria will be good. No light. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, don't, don't see that happening in uh, those states or in Nigeria as a whole. Say it go stop. We are not seeing anything like that. that is, uh, those things will stop. Exactly. Because when you see when you see people that ruin us, well, president today there, we get president for how many years? Since how many years? Any president there for Aso Rock today, who they rule us? Who they are so rock? How you want their good? No, but no, they're not tackled down. They're not tackled down and say nobody even did that when they when they control everything. Everything that they happen from Benin or from any part of Nigeria. You don't see where president they talk anything. When he go come and say he talk this, he not they. How you want the good? All these our 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 politicians them when not then go make them good. Okay. First, when finish school now, they say enough fee. You know, see, fine waiting, you won't do. Wait till then, Nigeria, what person will finish? Maybe it is, it is some lawyer or, or doctor or anything. And then, wait till you won't go do, where you go to survive for that, Nigeria. Exactly. Maybe money not day, when you go to start any other thing, when you go do, when you go to survive. How you want to start them? How you want to survive? Because all this is when they cross all this is. Now, hunger, hunger and the poverty, poverty they cost them. But you won't spend many years. In fact, I don't spend money. If Papa don't spend money, maybe now now farm self. In mama they do to send them for school. He graduate finish, no work, no job. The little ones, the ones, the little ones when they run or cada, they go still kill them. Okay. Um, them. You do my, you do my thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. Thank I beg. I want to forget all the things when I want to. Yes, you, you go talk now. Eh? Thank you very much, uh, uh, Uperi, at uh, Patients Uperi Talk Show. Thank you very much. I see, sir, everybody, they talk with passion, right? Everybody, they talk how it be am, with passion because they know, say, the thing where they happen, for Nigeria, a rich way person they shed tears, put you understand. So, I they look everybody body language to see whether then just they talk, I be then really they talk and from the innermost part of their heart, how it is they pain them, even as we know they Nigeria, even as we know they Delta state or a those state, we still get family there. Our parents still they there, our brothers and our sisters they there, our friends then still they there. And now our country, in as much as say many of us don't become citizens of another country, but still, now our country it be so now it make and be say we they put in so much passion to take talk him. All right, so uh, my sister, patient, we they assure you say Nigeria go better. Now it make we sit down here now to make sure say make we see whether solution go come out. You know, so maybe the youth now them go lead us further from 2023 all right so i'm now going to bring uh, uh lillian before i go forget the questions we want <laughs> go, go look for them so before then go, just one second commercial all right Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Just Me TV. So, our viewers, thank you very much for joining us. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. Okay, so, um, Lillian, so welcome back. Uh, you said you want to ask Donald. Uh, ah. 
some questions. So you forgot. I, I don't even forget the question. Okay, because so if you I, I, I think he was he talked something about uh, security. Okay. Say in North Sea, say the country security fits uh, get head. Okay. So I won't ask and say the governors, the money where they are located to governors yearly. For security, what did they take and they do? Because mm -hmm. this one, we're not gonna just they blame the federal government, federal government. So what did they think? Say the governors take the money that they do. They're not supposed to utilize that. That's not my question to Brother Donuts. Okay, so yes. Donuts, yeah. over to you. Yeah, I'll, I'll go quick answer that question. You hold, see, hold um, on, I have, to bring, I have to bring you. Uh, okay. okay, so tell us. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go answer that question because you see. They say a uh, provincial store is better than kiosk. Nine Nigeria yes. water be for security. Mm -hmm. You see, we they abroad, like here in Canada, they even give police task for speed ticket, but use mistake give Nigeria police speed ticket uh, duty. You go see and say the order of corruption go from zero to hundred. Nigerian police are not being well taken care of. Before no, this has protest, protest come out, I made a video on my Facebook page. I said they should reform police. What the police people need is reforming. When you reform somebody, you give them all the things where you want. They get good dividends, good allocation, health care, insurance, they did. the other thing, they did. everything complete. This, this thing not be from state because our Nigerian police force is controlled by federal. If federal government allocate all these things to the state and it gets to our police, there is no way when the police not do their duty, you know, go fit for them. Because as it is now, you poor person, papa, most people not forget say they be human being. No? Because when somebody, when you suppose give one error, you won't give one two cover, you say make it don't go risk the life. So then you say in get children, in get others when you want to take care of. And moreover, the reason why this insecurity matter no go fit for, eh? Because the police are not well taken care of. Mm -hmm. During the SARS protest, there was a woman, a police woman that came out and uh, made we make public uh, 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 mm -hmm. uh, speech to talk about. She refused to collect bribe, but yet she still they live for the same apartment where she they live. Police, they're not they saw uniform for police. No allocation for uniform. You go see some policeman uniform, the black don't change color. It don't turn faded uh, uh, charcoal. So there are a lot of things that need to be changed when it comes in terms of police. So when you put all these things in place, when you call police to order, they have no other choice than to comply. If all those things not there in place, the police people are not ready to do the job because why? They are not being well taken care of. Insecurity in Nigeria, the police has, the federal government have a major role to play. The IG, the Inspector General of Police, has a, a very major role to play, and the people as well, because they say charity as well begins at home. If we talk about the large society, we should also be talking about the small size of the society, mm -hmm. which is the family. You understand? So everybody get a role to play when it comes in terms of security. But we have to look at it from the top. Because if the top is corrupt, that means it's going to corrupt from the top to the bottom. So the federal government needs to play a major role by giving these police people the right allocation that will encourage them to want to do anything. I was watching a video. They say robbers, they front the rob. They call police, police not go. What is the essence of you being a policeman if you cannot put your duty in front as 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 a front line in everything going on because they are there to protect lives and properties if they are not doing that that means they are not doing their job effectively so it is the duty of the federal government to make the right allocation you talk about allocation people not to give them they go okay. they go say they allocate 12 police van they're not they not put money to maintain the police van before you know all the tires don't bend because they don't use a go operation call, no money to maintain them. So there is a lot that is why I use that community. It can the insecurity matter, it will get us a bit. But the only way we can change this move 2023 
we move. Let Nigerians come out. Come okay. out the way we came out in the Edo State and say, yes, we need change. Let them come out and do the right thing. And if so they are doing the right thing, this right thing, when are they talk, so we want to do so. We, now, by now, we start to start to the prepare. 2023 okay. is around the corner. If we not get candidate of our own, we allow these people, bring people come out. Because at the year, say, Bukola Saraki mm -hmm. is coming out. I don't know the political party way for the come out. But we have to understand that, like, we have to get ourselves prepared. Because if Nigeria is not prepared, they are preparing to call in the hands of this old one. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. The state governor, the thank state you. governors, they get their role to play because I make I give example. Sorry, oh madam, uh, our madam there, Rosalind. The way you see Cross River, so the way the state governor they do then example, then get small small allocation where they fit you for their own state police first. You know, yes, so they get so many they use at least what did they get? Make up give example now for those state. I not say the governor not they try you. You know, I mean, they try small, small. But the real location where they give, if they, they use the money well, not just only a do, whether Delta, whether Benway, do the hospital well, do the public school well. You not get anywhere when we say devil go just enter the head of all these youth. Say they go, they go, say, oh, they want to do courtesy. And then we say, when they call me again, I go put my for this courtesy. Because this okay. courtesy thing, where would they talk so? Inside school. Our boys, they still need, from school, they, they need mentorship. Mm -hmm. All these boys, when you go to Nigerian public university now, what did they learn? Nothing. Some of them, they don't they, 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 they even enter class. They don't enter okay. class. They're they outside. So nobody, they talk to them. The teacher self, when they teach themselves, when they won't come, he go just all trust and tell them, say, have you bought my book? You never buy a book okay, you go fail. So, mm -hmm. so many things, they're wrong with our people. Now I make me, I know they just say federal level, federal level, yes. Federal level, they're important. But we, the masses, and the state level, we need to put hand, make this whole thing for better. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lily Gold at Heritage's. Thank you. All right. So uh, now I want to make a nekme, Obasoge at Nebo TV, make you choke my put for this matter. May we see how go they go. Okay, yes, as everybody they talk, you know, when they say they will not blame the federal government, we have to look at the structure of Nigerian politics, okay? We are running a centralized government. We should know that. When we say centralized government, everything is coming from the federal government, okay? Mm -hmm. So a few few months ago, I couldn't watch uh, videos for YouTube. I couldn't see a video of uh, Okunjo Iweala the former finance mm -hmm. minister of uh, Nigeria. Now yeah. I say, I will listen to this video, I listen. So she called a complaint, say one thing that the federal government is lacking in the system is that they know they control that allocation whether they give governors for Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Say so now that will be the big problem when they affect the country. So you carry money, they give a governor every month allocation. You know, they, you know they control, regulate how the governors they, they manage this money. So these are the people eh, that, that ruled Nigeria. Okenje Okonje Weala is a very important person. She was mm -hmm. the former finance minister. So yes, I think yes. she did talk. Now she knows the system well, well. Now these are the people that run Nigeria before. So she got to talk and say, that be the big problem when they affect Nigeria states for Nigeria. So you go see, say, former governor of a state, you can't, you can't get money. You build big house, get everything. Why? How much do they pay governors every month? When we say former governor will just reach like that. You understand know me? So that be the problem when we get for Nigeria. If we don't want to blame the federal government, who will come blame? Because if the federal government not they regulate, uh, you know, they don't get body. In that case, they're so, supposed to get a special body. And eh? when would they regulate governors, state mm -hmm. governors for Nigeria? Eh, every allocation given to the state governor, how they are spending the money, they should be accountable. Accountable to the federal government. May not be like that too. After uh, you say former governor for Nigeria, you go go buy a plane, you go build mansion, you go go buy many houses for Dubai. Why? Because the system of a uh, centralized system that we are running in Nigeria is not working. It's not working. Mm -hmm. That's why they say many governors, former governors, that they go jail. 
few few years ago, I do one um, analysis of governors when Buhari put for jail. Buhari puts, uh, uh, it reached almost 10 of them when he go jail like that. Former governors of states, you understand me so? Because during the, their tenure as governors, they embezzled. They go to the staff. Sorry, you make a throw something, uh, something here. Yeah. Oh, go ahead, my brother. Make a quick throw something. They go jail because they're not the president party. I, I know. Uh, yes, they, they, they go jail because they're not the president party. Oh. Yes. Yeah, that one are not that true. Yes, that one are not Thank that you. true. Sorry to cut in meaning mm -hmm. if then they for the uh, go, uh, governor or the mm -hmm. president party, mm -hmm. then they're not going to go to jail, right? Yes, so they will they under the they will hide under the care of immunity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go them because now them yeah. the now them hold power, yeah. so nothing will happen. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Now yeah. be the corruption where we yeah. still they talk about here. Yeah, so now, yeah. now so you can beat me, say I do bad. Because I know they your party now. Mm -hmm. person when they your party, they do bad. You cover them. I, I waiting That's now. It. I go the camp. I'll cook the camp now. If I not say I don't do part, uh, I don't do bad during my own time. If I know say I don't do bad, well, yeah. Yeah. so when I know say time don't they reach for me to finish, where be say then go come hold me, come beat me, or come put me for jail. I'll the camp quick, quick. Me, I could give yeah. you one example. And I okay. said that one example, you know, Akpabio, the former governor of yes. the state, Akpabio. Yes. So mm -hmm. they call the investigator, investigate some of the property where he gets as a former governor. As then they investigate them, you know, they close to going to jail. The next thing I just offer the camp to APCO, <laughs> then the case they come for everything. <laughs> then they just come for that. So they will not hear the case again. Okay, okay, other, other, we, we all cannot talk at the same time, otherwise, we're not going to hear this uh, topic. It is very, very important and interesting. And people they watch, even then, they write comments at uh, later on. I will read some comments with them right for here. You understand? So people are really really very much interested even some uh political leaders when me with them don't get a uh, this me tv uh don't get conversation with some of them they are really interested they want to know what we are discussing and they want to see even some of the youths for nigeria the way we don't talk with they won't know whether if there's anything any way out waiting and waiting then get to do to take prepare for the upcoming 2020 2023 uh, election so that we go see say old wine not going to inside new bottle all right never tv over to you okay you know even though 2023 come and eh, if we don't restructure nigeria we will see and let the same uh, leader when we continue with the old system so mm -hmm. what we want is a restructuring of nigeria we say restructuring of nigeria that has to do with the system of federalism because the kind of system when we say would they run for nigeria over this years you know they work anymore and uh, if you know they work like that many people now say they, they don't tire they want separate from Nigeria. You know, say this quest for secession. Now, see, I say it don't rise when we this say uh, period because of the insecurity in the country. So now we call they say person like me and many other Nigerians. They can say we want one Nigeria, but one Nigeria whereby a, a, a system of federalism where will give power to, to states for Nigeria, made that they run their own resources yes. and many other things. And where some people can say, no, you know, will work. So this 2023, where everybody just they talk, say 2023 will come, Nigeria will change. Nigeria, I'm telling you, the target not right now, our target, tar person where they don't target, say, go win. Now see all this old, the cabas. Hmm. Then I go win. There's no way the youth go feel it a strike. Maybe we just they talk through. You understand? Now still those who old cargoes. Now then, now one of them, I go win the election. Maybe we not waste our time. So what do we want? Now the restructuring of Nigeria. Before that, uh, that was really too far. Because the way the insecurity there for Nigeria, now we not feel wait for 2023. Restructuring of Nigeria now before 2023. You know, so that's why we were happy the other day when the NSAS protest the youth. But uh, because of the power where the government gets, they make sure say, they stop the youth from the protest. They keep mm. many of them. And you know what they do again, my people? You know what they do when it comes worse? Second time again, the youth come say they won't come back. 
made they start with the SS protest because if they don't fulfill this goal, the, you know, the goal of this SS is like they are being defeated. You understand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when they start this uh, SS, they came out with a goal that must be actualized. But mm -hmm. uh, when they call the kid, then they can't stop. They can't say, no, if we stop like this, you'll be like, say, all the suffer, oh, our youth won't die. Be like, say, they die for, no, for nothing. Maybe we mm -hmm. continue with this protest. The second time when they come out, December 7th, they don't arrange police for grant because they don't hear say they won't start the SR second time again. They arrange police, they wait for them. As they come out, police stop them. Police stop them. Now the only hope when we be get be that say, if I wish they listen to the youth that SR's protest so that they will restructure Nigeria. This go day better before 2023. For me, I don't believe, say, 2023, changing of uh, the presidency, mm -hmm. uh, maybe PDP win the election or whatever, win the election. Now, now still the old people that will win the election. And Nigeria will remain the same. I'm telling you people now. That is what we are expecting. Now, only person who don't understand Nigeria politics go to say 2023, mm -hmm. Nigeria will change. Mm -hmm. Now, the Kabas, now they won't win. Now, they won't win. We need response. Eh? The truth be said, this NSAS people, I know what make people think say them fear and I made them come out to. Because this NSAS, it just come like impromptu thing and everybody enter, it be like say cash fire. May if it be said the government not change. The thing won't go happen again. I don't know whether some of us see the video of uh, Senator Ben Bruce. When in they address the fellow senators for inside the house meeting where they get, if they not really change, these people when they lead to, the next time when this, this thing will happen, now big revolution will happen for Nigeria. Because you know, good saying now you go sleep for inside house. You know, if you close your eye, rich ground. Uh -huh. you fear. Whether they won't kill you, you they walk out for motor, you they fear. Everywhere people they fear, whether they won't die. So the truth be say, get where you go rich. Nigerian people go say, enough is enough. If I perish, I perish. And uh -huh. that time they go ready. This second time when they be say police come wage war for them, they're uh -huh. not ready when I make it be like say they slap. Now me, they tell you. Well, I'm not gonna say that prophecy, but that they ready next time if they push these boys to come out, eh? The revolution won't go happen. That one now, uh, if I die, I die because now the people when they eat the money, so now their house now they go go. You know, exactly. exactly. and if that yeah. one not happen, yeah. I, I want to I want to go I think I want to say something. Etinosa, you want to say something? I have a lot to say, but this space is given to me too. Go oh, ahead. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> I don't come on, I, so, Go ahead. Go thank ahead. you, my sister. You see, this topic where you bring, only say you put so many things together. So, but uh, we're going to try our best to the talk and because it involves employment. That one a big issue. But one thing you me, I want to tell you this evening is say, you see, we the Bini Edo that comprises of so many kingdoms today, uh, ethnic kingdom. Even the the data also before we both come, we are believing as as an empire. So this is a, a short history. So in other words, we are connected. That is why when you look at a do and data of today, we were not there. None of a do or data people we are there to identify. Now the people we divide, they divide all these states for a reason, and those reasons not to weaken us. So that we not go fit come together as one, and that one has been achieved successfully. Now it has created a chance for them to continue to ride on us. And most of our people, where they talk, everything everybody they talk since none of them will not make sense. So how many years we don't come up for the independence? That be the question we will go ask ourselves. Hmm. Is there anything where they work for the country? Okay. If I want answer, now nah, no, nothing is working. But. but we just they take on one idea. Okay, those way don't divide us. Thank God that division way they divide. The only thing we see help us more. We don't know ourselves before they come, as I said before. If you look at those states, a doma, if they share with Isha, even though there is differences, is the possibility to share and let peace reign is there because they don't know themselves. They think. In data state today, when they are sharing among all these ethnic, even when they have differences. Because they know themselves very long time, they can still have peace to reign. Thank God for that. Now, if you look at the situation where we did, it's a very big issue. All these years is independent, now wasted years. And those things where they're not put in order, now they lead to this insecurity. If you say courtism, where courtism they come from? If they come because somebody will wake up, another man, they oppress her, they collect waiting 
a waiting, wait, they collect stunts from his hand. And when he can't look that man, not be say he better pass her. But because he did for one group, he go see the side, go join him home. Believe say he go there secure. I make many of these boys begin the job waiting to join. Now, police not there. I said, those states are data people. The truth of the matter, I mean, I want to talk this evening. Our two governors, they don't get power over our police. The whole police in those states, they are not under our governor. They are under the IG. IG, they are under the president. So no, when those no. state governors they do like this, the IG talking on, IG on, I go begin to talk. That go begin the work. Hmm. And when IG talk, you not go talk to the governor, you go talk to the commissioner where they put for those states. You see how we take this. Now, the barrack way they do, the head way they then are not there. If they even put our brother, it just be come off flat. The rest of people way they on that and they, they monitor every way they do. Now, the okay. same people, their brother put all our bush. They fool everywhere in those states. You cannot go come off for Benin, you they go out here again. Because why? They're there for road. Now, these same people, how will Nigeria work? What do you make us want? That'd be the question we go ask ourselves. Is that for our get good? The governor sell and keep money. The president not talk. The uh, what is the chief justice of the of the federation? Now they are brother. If you carry that kind of case, can you go throw away the three, throw away the five for where you know go see before you go come off office. Now the all year way they for business. Now then they sell them. All the company way where they where where they where they drill them for a door and data. Now then they award the contract. We they here with a belief say it go good. The truth of the moment we tell ourselves the truth. The restructuring where they where we they talk just now say if we say make we restructure. Those people where we they who would they who will they drag restructure for in hand? The same people where they sell good, keep the money. Just look at their thinking. Their thinking is conquest, not to develop. And that is what they have been achieving for so many years. Now they don't they push us rich just because of their plan, it can't go out of control. In the process, they can't create monster. Because why they create door for those people is to populate us. Why my father married one wife, they married 20. So as they, now we day for our brother, we don't build us as those data people. They are coming. They can rent house, they are now occupying our land. They don't drive our people from village, no farm for this year. Only God knows where people go eat. And we are talking of uh, security. That's the way they hungry. That's one of my sisters talk to us now. Crime go day. Okay, look at the job where you they talk just now. A doman, now be Inspector General, where Buhari come. Go look the video again. The president finished for a job well done for Nigeria, for serving Nigeria well. No error. But he remove her. He tell her, he remove her. In other words, you are not a fool animal. You cannot say that. Wait, wait to make us one. In the first case, we are not one. We don't have clarity with these people. So we don't want to tell ourselves. For me, I believe our has come. Our traditional leader should mobilize you because there are ways you speak. In a, if, if you are able to protect yourself that you can defend yourself, your enemy will call for peace. When you lie down, that enemy will come to march on you. That's what we are facing now. Hmm. Our people are so quiet. Let's go back to where my sister did say may youth. If one of my sister say may youth help themselves. We wait okay. there. Some hold, of us don't go that, trust no small business. Part, hold that part first. Hold that part first. Because of um, okay. the company where you say they enter our farm and all, make I play on a one video, make una see, uh, make una put meaning okay. into this video about how the Fulani Hessmen or the Boko Haram, whatever name, wait then the answer. Hmm. My people, I greet you. Please, I don't know what is going on, but something is really going on. I don't know what is going on, but I tell you, something is really going on. Because yesterday, in the night, Governor Wike arrested people, Fulani headsmen, hiding inside a trailer with foodstuffs heading to River State. Now, this afternoon, at Jaku Junction, in Aokite, those states, Fulani headsmen, a lot of them, I don't know their number, I don't want to put the wrong number, but you can see it on the video. There are a lot of them. Look at them in the park. We are hiding inside a 40 feet container. Hiding inside a 40 feet container. Can you tell me what are these 500 men hiding inside a 40 feet container for? 
are heading to the south. What are these men hiding inside the 40 feet container and heading to the south? I beg every southern, I beg every southern, wherever you are, a dog state, Delta state, Abia state, Ibu state, Trivers, Bayes, Elkwaiko, Cross River, wherever you are, be at a last. Like I said, you don't want know what is going on, but something is definitely going on. It cannot be by mistake that not just last night that Governor Wike personally arrested people hiding inside the trailer. And this afternoon, in a dose state at the Jaku Junction in Aunchi, more than 500 Fulani headsmen are hiding inside a 40 feet container heading south. So that means that there is a coordinated effort to make sure that these people get themselves to the south, irrespective of the lockdown that the so-called government announced. So how can these people be heading to the east when they know that there is a lockdown, when they know that there is a um, restriction of movement from point A to point B, and when there is corona pandemic that the first law says stay where you are? because this virus does not move, it is transported by people. The same way Ganduja is using uh, Alamajiri boys to be sharing corona all over Nigeria. Now they are using Fulani headsmen. What are they doing in the South? What are these people doing in the South? Everybody in the South, youth leader, community leader, be you whatever you are, stay at our last. Something is happening, but I tell you, I don't know what that is. But if something is happening, yes, something is happening. Yes. 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 Insecurity, no. yes. I feel put mouth for this, this for yes. this matter. Okay. Okay. Make oh, I everybody, everybody get because right. Because of time, now make so, even though may I put that employment on this one because lucky, you see lucky all these on it. Lucky wait, lucky wait. So even though say I know I never call you and you have something very important to chip into waiting somebody they talk. You let me know. I will let the person hold on so you can chip in. Otherwise, maybe you feel forget before then finish to talk because we need information. We need something to put together to see okay. how we go forward. That's so, the main my sister, of this, uh, uh, event. All right. The thing they All break right, for my on. side. I don't know why. Okay, uh, go on. Maybe upon us side they start this in the battery. They go down well. Where? <laughs> okay. Yes. So hello. <laughs> okay, go. Hello, on. my sister. Are you here? All right. You hear? Okay. Yes. Now, if you look at the the problem of uh, insecurity for my state, uh, though it, it it affect the whole thing, the whole Nigeria. Now, yes. for many years, all these our people they not make provision for them. The, no yes. proper security. Everybody they do things the way they feel it is good on top to the common man. So since that corruption, it don't create serious problem now. Our youth, where they fight against themselves, mm -hmm. they not get work. That is why they are fa they are fighting. And in the first case, when we they talk about work, which work you want to create for these people? People where they work for my country, they not get honor, they not get reward. The university where we they talk about now for Sweden, where may I dare, I will use it to make example because everybody, most of us, where they will be there for that for a different country. Okay, um, somebody will go. Up Lucky, sorry to cut you. We have a caller. And fortunately, the person is from the same place, Sweden. He wants to put took mouth inside this story where we they talk about. So make we hear from the caller. Hello, caller number one. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Yes, yeah, hello. Yeah, this is uh, uh, Michael Wiese. I just have uh, something a little bit to talk, but if you guys give me time, believe me, I'm used to our uh, because I love politics. I follow a lot of things about Nigeria. Well, you know, the problem we are facing in Nigeria is so enormous and it's so huge that you know one can comprehend. Do you get what 
trying to say. So, Number one, a Fulani man is the president of the country. But you guys have to uh, remember and recall, before he gets into that position, he promised uh, the Nigerian that he's going to deal with uh, uh, Boko Haram, you know, terrorism, blah, 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 and all that. Because why well, he had a plan. That is the reason why he said that so that he can be able, you know, to achieve his aim and do whatever he likes. If you look at it, all the years Fulani has been ruling Nigeria, there is no progress. I'm just telling you, let's, let's be realistic. There is no progress at all because we are different. Fulani and all the Southerners, we are different. The Southerners, let, let's forget that we have uh, different tribes, you know, different language and all that. And the Yoruba man and Igbo man, Benin and Delta man, we can understand each other. Our differences, we can be able to solve it one way or the other. We understand each other. But these Fulani people, they don't understand anything. And if you are telling the truth, they will be fighting you that you are telling, telling the truth. No, you guys, you created the security at the north, JT or whatever they call it. I will tell them, they bring out their own and you are opposing it. Why are you opposing it? That country is not yours alone. People have their own say. Now, you can see the one I sent to you recently. Uh, I saw one, they said, that, no, they can all those kind of things. Are we going to allow this Fulani to keep everybody? that is farming in our own southerns so people they can't be able to harvest they can't plant they can't do nothing they are killing people they just want to use that you know that angle and make us and make us that like we are afraid like just to to farm to eat do you understand so people have to reason and the problem i'm having is the, the southerners the governors I'm not united at all. I'm really, really so disappointed because I don't see any difference between all of us. United. All the point is just money. I've never seen a country like this that you are just thinking about only yourself. So if they keep everybody now, you're going to be the one to live alone. Is that what you want? Mm. Look at the food and they are importing their brothers from different, different kind of places to come into Nigeria. Because oh, they had an, uh, an alternative, they had an uh, emotion, they knew, they knew what they are doing. All this one you guys are just saying, I know that we are just wasting our time until all the Satanists, the Satan, talk and unite. Whatever they say, if it doesn't favor us, we should oppose it. Nigeria, I'm sorry to say, eh? Twenty I don't even know, but I'm sure that country it will break. No how matter how they try to patch it, it will break because they are, they are not even ready to make that country work now alone. Okay. I have I have I just wanted to talk about the full and has met too. Oh I'm so sorry, I'll wait for Nigeria because people are people are suffering a lot. Very, even though those people that go you know living abroad and walking on the street. You know, people will be stopping you anyhow, criminal everywhere. Wait, this is just just the beginning. I just hope they realize what they are trying to okay. to put this stop and I didn't make that content better. That's okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Michael Weezy. Thank you for your contribution. May God bless you. All right, so I go back to my brother. He was talking before Lucky, before the caller comes uh, came in. So finish up, then uh, yeah. never will continue. Let me talk about uh, because nothing is working in Nigeria. First of all, how can you create job? There is no proper system. As Awala said, that uh, the federal government cannot control uh, the state allocation. If the federal government were they were able to control, they could control themselves or up. Why would they control the the down? It is because they are also rewarded there. That is why they cannot control the governor. It happened that Awala is highly respected, but she was also one of a political appointee of Jonathan administration. During her tenure, uh, Dezeni was able to loot the country to zero. So as a finance minister, you want to tell me she was not able to see what was happening there? So my, the system is this. If they make me a minister, I want to tell you the truth. We all that are here, we have to be sincere to ourselves. We live in abroad. It is not because Oibo is good that make them to be sincere. The reason why they they sincere to their government is that the C 
system in place is not being entrusted to anybody. So whether you are a president or you are a governor, you are to serve under the system. That is what yes. we are enjoying today. So on our own case, we, yeah. we just put everything in the hands of one person, yeah. President Buhari, you see it now. So it's not working. So this system is dead and it cannot work because those who have grabbed this system, they have the mind of conquest. We from the side believe that it can work for us. That conquest is what they want to achieve. And that is why they said no restructuring. Restructuring will allow you to create police. It will allow you to create uh, security. So it may become a problem for them to push us to this higher level. Look at job you are talking about. The university, whom are they producing? Look, you produce civil engineer. They cannot make cement. They can't mode block. They can't make our road. They can't make bridge. Where, where, where would they work? They'll go sky, go they work. <laughs> so, okay, you train university graduate, mechanical no, engineer. No cannot even fix his own. He cannot repair car. No, he no. cannot do... So, where did you expect him to work? You invest, you train somebody. Electrical, electronic. He cannot fix... He cannot even change bulb. <laughs> now, where you say make it work? No, so, no. we need to tell our people... Because that's a job. Now they want to do here. If you reach people engineer... Hello? But yes. Are you hearing me? No. Yes, we are hearing no. you. We are hearing you. But don't you think the okay. fault is also Make us random from some few things. I beg. Don't you think the fault is also huh? from the from the system because they're not give them. Look, they're not give nothing them. will work yeah. because those who are in charge of the system break mind and is conquest. Are you hear me now? Their mindset is conquest in the process of corrupting our people you know, dividing them, they will no longer unite. And again, there is no history. People don't know, if you call Nigeria to discuss something of, two, uh, even 2001, they don't even remember because no book, know, yeah. there's no documentation. So, yeah, no oh, it's a very yeah. big issue, my sister. Yeah. You have a college of agriculture, a college of agriculture training, graduate training everybody, illiterate produce our food, illiterate build our houses, illiterate <laughs> repair our cars, illiterate oh. wire, build our roads, what is the purpose of the event is to tell you that that school is not the real system of education. It's just to brainwash our people to feel that they, because yeah, they go to speak BB grammar, they are enlightened. If you want to know people when you go to school, look at their society. Now you go know say school there. Exactly. Now, if we know the next president way they call, as this my brother talk, we go still put our trust for how will you now with a system that will be above every one of us? When the judiciary system, the chief justice of the uh, of the federation, is under the president, it means you have no constitution, you have no law. Even the constitution, what we call constitution, what really pains me as an Edo person is that our people are not waking up to understand that they are under siege. Yes. Our people will come to kill themselves. This one is just the beginning mm -hmm. because they have been neglected, and the hour we mobilize them to take their position, this because the governor is just there as a ceremonial when it comes to security. Yeah. He's not going to work yes. because yes. if they arrest any, uh, look at these guys that they are arresting, where they keep people for road, all these full army. They keep people in Benway, 400, 500, all of them. Do you see any book where they try them? There's no book. No. So no. they have a different mindset. Let's no. educate our people that these people are here for conquest. They have no yes. respect for our way. You, we that is talking about yes. one Nigeria, yes. look at us like, like yes. of the yes. level of our education. They don't really see us. Now, what is the problem? Why can't we, the certain people who are really educated, like my Southside South governors, they promise us regional security. I don't know. Because of politics, you see, they are delaying. They don't know what to do. It's, okay. it's so deep. So even they are afraid of their lives. But I will tell you, this bad government for many years has given birth to something new. They created a monster. And that monster is what is going to consume, consume Nigeria. And that is insurgency. There is no place people were able to Terrorism. Thank you. Even terrorism Thank went, you went all this group. Thank you. Okay. I enjoyed yeah. enjoy uh, the conversation my... so well. Thank you. Uh, I have something to say. Okay. I, have uh, to say. I, I beg, Cindy Poch, don't tell me before, and I've okay. done the forget her. No, Bex, you can come stay. All Amen. right. Yes, so to contribute to what our brother is saying, security will only come in Nigeria if the governors we stop bound down to the president and to the Fulanis because what they are promising them is what is causing this problem. 
as they promise them, say 2023, they will give them a president, they will give you vice president. I'm talking of all the governors. I know come out anyone inside because mm. all of us know. Now he make it be say that they fear that they bow. They go see several and they go go sleep with mama for a uh, farm. They go keep up and they no go talk. They go carry get they go rip and they no go talk because they, they fear. You don't understand. Before they, they enter that post, they don't swear that they fear our full and they don't swear say see 2023. No worry. Now you will be next uh, next go, uh, president. My brothers, you know go reach their hands. Because nobody today full and don't guide them. It's not a guy man. They don't want to use their brain. They did that they, they lie down for full and when they don't want to hear back. How will you be safe for uh, a do state? Who will be saying that a do man is supposed to be the IG of police that will go put full and heads man man? Mm. If you enter data, okay. who will be saying that on a better okay. man? No, okay. better man when they speak. Uh, uh, in language, now, 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 now the data man supposed to be the IG. They go carry full animal, they go put there. If you enter Ibo land, we be saying a Ibo man, we're supposed to they understand what people they talk. They no go give and they go carry outside. Yes, if they catch any people, if they catch outside man, outside full and any person, wakey person, if you can't reach police station, they know they arrest them. Before you know, they don't pass back yet, you go come out. But if they see ordinary citizen of an if na 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 agbo na Ibo na be eh, na Benbini, they go kind of they go put them there. They no go remind them, we no go come out. Mm -hmm. Our governors no feel talk because mm -hmm. they, they wait for 2023 election. Say they don't promise them, say they go give them vice president. We no go reach their hand. What did they do? The Mawolo one. I know they remember all those mm -hmm. ones. What did they do? The way they promise that they don't say their rights. They can't, they don't forget saying now we carry our mama them carry picking for back. Our papa them go inside soon. They, they they vote for them, put for them, put them for them. May they protect us. When you put them for finish, they will come down to their whole family alone. Forget say person they exist. So what this kind of thing, now we hope they, they pay me for my mind because the thing when our governor said, what is our brother talk not true? They no get mouth again, they no get sick, they, they fear. Yes. Either they come yes. and they panic. Yes. Either reach that they go tell them, say, see, now what thing I want to go do with this? He go come and they instead, not be meeting, they go last time, where they wait, where they say, they say they miss flights, they no fee come meeting. What in our uh, governors do nothing? And uh, they hear say, I just received a, a call that, guys, we need to wake up, I beg. Now yes. me I see to contribute. Yes. If these people I... no stop, so they accept say they will be vice president. Our vice president, where, where is he? Living yeah. ghost. He just the waka like say they push and go here, go go. Sit down, yes. go sit down. No get, no get mad. How long are we going to be uh, be, be sleeping? Time don't reach where we go wake up. And they tell you true. We not go take this one again. Anyhow, when you go be, we have to take the bull by the one. Now, so me, I feel talk rich like this. Thank it you very me. much, Cindy Podge at Cindy TV. So don't do that. Okay. Don Donald, uh, you see, we they talk here since all we analyze now our problem, but we've never talked the solution. Yes, where, we'll our, where our PVC they very relevant. Mm -hmm. We have our PVC for we to put who we want there and remove who we don't want. You understand the reason why I talk this talk? Be yeah. the last time they had South South uh, meeting. For in terms of security purpose, but federal government fit fit to uh, to to honor the meeting. What I'm saying this about 2023, we say, if we know if okay, if you ask Nigerian youth now, eh, say how prepared are you in 2023? They're not they prepared. These people we are talking about this this old way we are talking about, they are prepared in 2023 as you and I speak now. We want change. What are the things we are doing to bring change? We're not doing anything. If we are not prepared, these same people will bring back these same people in 2023. They're going to bring two candidates. And we know the two ruling party in Nigeria is APC and PDP. And either you like it or not, we're going to choose one from those two people. So what are the common people doing about the change we're talking about? We're not doing anything. We're just here talking about the things happening around. Well, the reason why I said 2023 is the only way we we'll escape through all this problem in Nigeria, we have our PVC. Take a look at what happened in America. But my brother, what please don't go further. Do you know that uh, vote doesn't count in Nigeria? No matter. No, 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 no. no, no. Yes, yes, I want to say one thing. It doesn't count in Nigeria. It doesn't count in Nigeria. You be Igbo or you be Yoruba, and I count. Can I please say this, please? 
Nigeria can turn up. Or you be or whatever. Now, trouble is at yeah. federal level. Please, can I say this? If Nigeria okay. can unite, if a those state can unite and their votes were being counted, despite all what they did, if you and I know what they wanted to do to a those state election, but it did yeah. not work. It did yeah. not work. If the common yeah. man knows that their votes, who they voted for, look at what happened between Osumbo and Oshomole. They ran the election, but what happened? The bike riders, the market women, everybody came out for simple protest. The matter yeah. was taken to court, and from court, it went to the appeal court. And what happened? Oshomole won. Also, uh, God, 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 God. for them to yeah. achieve that, I not done. I don't mean to cut you. What do you do? Yeah. So mind with your bonga talk. But for them to achieve that thing for a dose, my brother, I will talk something to you. I like what you they talk. Oh, for them to achieve that thing, when you remember the governor and some other people put hand for grant, they begin educate the people. Say, see what in these people they do, or make an open eye. You so this thing where you they talk so not true, but the only way we will fit achieve and be say, our people now we go begin educate them from now. Say, no, see what no, that's what it's all about. See what's in the happen. Now. 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 See what in the happen. 2023, hold your PVC. You be 18 years, go take your PVC. See what in the happen. You like and they go say no. Okay, they go present candidate. Oh, but we want the one when get better manifesto. Make we tell them say what you now want to do. We we'll go go find their record. What did they not do before? Then with that, everybody go prepare. But if they don't prepare their mind. When that time reach again, now who they hungry, they'll give money. The person go go eat, you go vote for them. So this way they talk so now better story, but now now if the people when one run for that 2023, if they know, may they tell us don't me. I know one or two people know what are they say if they give them opportunity for that Nigeria, Nigeria fit turn around small. Low. If they begin give education to the people when the village tell them say oh, now see what in the happen 2023. When I don't register, things go better. So this way they talk. Now better story, but now, now we go begin educate our people. Yes, I want to quickly talk about uh, this full of the hair matter. Uh, if now give me time here to talk. I, I get many things when I want to talk. So uh, for the one for the uh, those state election, you know, if you not take compare any election for Nigeria, it's just a, a unique history making election that we just uh, completed in Edo state because Edo people, you know, I not say we get many. Uh, people for abroad, and all of us when they are abroad, now impact that election when they say when they successful. That be the truth, too. because yeah. after that one on the election, I follow on the election. I won't get people for grad where they uh, they interview those where they those where they uh, vote for polling units. By that time, if you see the way that they buy their vote, they give their money, they go villages, they buy their vote. And do election, eh? It's different though, and we not ever if you see like a do election again for Nigeria. I say, who I'm telling you, because the way our people they are brought, the way we take talk to all our voters when they uh, when they do state, they have that election. Though, that be the truth. So maybe we not just use a do election as a reference or use it to reference on any other state in Nigeria. Okay, me I add for them. Me I go for this little and has my own. The video when my sister showed just now. Thank you for that video. It is very very important because right now the major issue when we face for Nigeria, why you even call us for this show? That because of the issue security in the country. So, Fulani has made, they terrorize our farmers for a those state in the South region of Nigeria. You know, say Fulani has made before, now not neither they, for the operate where we're better, they come to the South. You know why the state governors for, for the Southern region of Nigeria, they don't feel do anything about Fulani has made, because you can see, say, where did they go, go on for this administration, say, now the not an agenda, not an agenda. Fulani has made, they don't they arrest them all. They're not the others. I mean, I give you now one example where we say all of you now, now go tired for Nigeria as a country. Could you believe say, a few years ago the governor of Kaduna State, he called national TV, not be saying that me, I don't they form this word. The video did there. National TV for Nigeria say uh, the federal government give money, made that they offer uh, full and health uh, compensation, made they stop the killings of innocent civilians in Nigeria. We now don't see that one before. Mm -hmm. When we get police, uh, we get police for Nigeria. We get the judicial system. You understand? So 
Fulani has been where they keep people for Nigeria. They know they prosecute them. They know they arrest them. So they na money federal government. This money they carry out for SS crude account oh, with money from our oil. Oh, yeah. Now that they carry, they they give their own Fulani has for the notary region. They call they pay their money. The governor of Kaduna he come out for national TV, not me. They talk out. He can't say a uh, full and he has men where in their neighboring countries, where they like uh, Cameroon, Niger, me all of them. They come Kaduna, oh, me they come collect money. Say Nigeria federal government they offer money to full and he has men. Me they saw the killings of innocent civilians in Nigeria. We I don't hear that kind of thing before. For for Sasat region of Nigeria, why be said they not they arrest full and he has men? You know, say police they under federal government. So police when they uh, uh, when they under federal government, you can't tell and say me arrest Fulani has me. When they say Fulani, if, uh, the, the inspector general of police for Nigeria, now Fulani ma. You you just say that one will ever happen? No, okay, that's what the, 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 the community form their civil no, defense. Man. Me I tell you, form their civil defense. Me I, tell, me I tell you one thing. You know, say the uh, western region of Nigeria, the arm of Tekun, they can't say okay, the the Yoruba state for Nigeria, they can't implement this arm of Tekun. And the federal government can say, no, you know, they happen. Uh, regional uh, police is not good, this and this. Not be smart, it can cause another trouble again. They say they're not going to agree. Say, may that kind uh, of tackle or police may they operate for the, the Western region. So now, so they call the fight them before they can't allow them, may they, they operate. You know what did they do? The first thing, I'm tackle, they remove Fulani Hesme. Before Fulani Hesme go, come, come, they keep them as they do all those nonsense. They remove all of them. They fear not the land full and they estimate the entire uh, the western region again because I'm not taking the day there and they ready anytime they see any full and trouble. So now when they talk say uh, this restructuring of Nigeria that has to do with the system of federalism, it will help if they feel set up a regional uh, police for the southern region. How many states we get for the south south? I think a like nine states. So all of them come together. Data and do acquire all of them come together. They will come implement the same thing when they see implement for the uh, western region of Nigeria. What may they help us with this issue of uh, insecurity for southern region of Nigeria? Otherwise, no, there's no way well because right now, me I use Edo State because we are discussing it by Edo State right now. During the election period, the governor of the state he even tell me when I interview him, he said, like, but you know what? I said, they here, so as the governor, me myself, that they threaten me security because of the lack of security for the state. When me, I not get security. As I can't tell you, provide security for citizens, when me, myself, as I sit down here, I not get security. Now, so he tell me, I get the video for my show, the governor of Edo State. So he said, you know, if you talk to police again, he said, if you tell police and then they arrest people, police not go arrest. If I know for public spaces in a door state, okay, then they bomb market, they bomb public spaces. He can say, police men are arrest now, they're not arrest, they don't prosecute anybody because the federal level don't tell them, say, do not do anything because now they get power for Nigeria, now they get the police, they're not the arrest. He said, they can't even arrest one criminal. No criminal when they say you go break somebody's house, the police go arrest them. When they arrest and finish, they carry and go station. When they reach station, the federal power go call them for the inspector for the police or whatever. They call them say leave that person immediately. That's when the criminal when they just see when they say they break us, they won't go. They see gun for a hand and everything. They call release immediately. Hmm. They release her immediately, immediately. You know, few we say God, like what in my sister just talked just now said the governor, the South South Region governors. Eh? They can't organize meeting. They invite uh, President Buhari in Okon. So they can't organize them a second time again. Okay? They call the demand for restructuring of Nigeria that has to do with uh, the, uh, the system of federalism, like what I talked before. Our governor, may we talk through, they are being compromised by the Northern leaders because now the Northerners, now they rule Nigeria now. All the major political positions for Nigeria, all of them just therefore not to uh, the head yes. of uh, the IG of police, yes. nah, full yes. uh, the yes. inspector general yes. of the federation, the full, the full, yes. uh, full anima, the head of the military, the full, uh, so all of them you know, they get power right now. Our governor said when they organize that meeting that day, eh, you know, say the fair organize one, they can't organize on second time again. They say they need restructuring of Nigeria. I just look, I, I they look their face, I say all these people are not serious. Then they fear, fear not let them talk. If you want the structuring of Nigeria, you speak with power, you should be fair. You should be fair in your in your in your demands. Not to say you they say, eh, we want the structuring of Nigeria, you they talk like say you they sleep. Who will listen to you? Who will listen to you? You go see and say these people are being compromised 
by the northern leaders in the country. They they talk, they bless it, that they sleep. I just look there, I said this one, the federal government not will listen to them. The one that they talk so because they, they fear they don't want to press too much so that they know can not remove them from their power because maybe they don't they negotiate some power or even the power where they did right now. Eh? They, you know, anything can happen if they over criticize the federal government, the outside people. Now that they run Nigeria as we talk, so our certain leaders they don't feel do anything, and we need the certain leaders in order for them to press for the restructuring of nigeria otherwise our youth will be say we be we even the happy say the SS protest they will help us with this process of restructuring of nigeria they stop them no agreement they protest again and our certain leaders supposed to come and firm in their decision and in their demands that they talk as if they sleep so which guy wait, wait till you to say we will solve this problem for nigeria right now thank you very much Nightman. Thank you. Okay, so welcome back. Um, let me open it and see. Okay, uh, Lucky, you can unmute. We can't hear you. you and it's unmute. about to off, I beg. Okay, then. Okay. All right. Wait. All right. So, Donald, you were saying something. Yeah. Uh. Uh. One. One. Okay. Two, when I get. I want to. I want to come in from a different device. Then you can. I want to leave this one. Yeah. Uh. If 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 we Nigerians cannot believe on the power of our PVC, that means we don't believe that there will be change in the country. Because, like, as an individual and as, as a Nigerian, and as we that are outside the aspirant, that are in other countries that have seen things, we don't see things, we don't know things, say yes, this thing has gone beyond what you and I are seeing. If CNA can project the shooting in Lekki Gate, that means if Nigeria is protesting for what is right, trust me, the whole world is watching. Do you understand what I mean? Gone are those days when they blindfold us, when the internet and every other thing is not working in petty In the era where that whatever you do, the whole world is watching. Let's give Nigerians a chance whereby they are right, their vote can't. Trust me, if the election of Nigeria is being conducted, and yet the vote of the people we are not being 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 recorded as it ought to be. And they come out and protest. Trust me, if anything happened to the protesters, the world are watching, and trust me, they are going to intervene. What I'm saying this is because there is nothing you and I are, are going to say now that will change Buari mind. Buari has been there for five years now. And trust me, people have been coming out, people have been speaking, people have been saying a whole lot of things. The only way we can incubate change in Nigeria is through our PVC. Other countries have achieved this greatness, and I believe Nigeria could as well achieve this too. Let the people of Nigeria come out, exercise their right by voting for the right person in 2023. That way, the person that we come in, we restructure all these things we are talking about. If we are waiting for these people presently now to restructure this thing, we are wasting time. Because these people have been there, they've been running these policies, for a very long time, and if we think they're going to block their source of income of how to enrich themselves by talking all these things, it's not going to work. The only way we can exercise our right, the whole world is watching. The internet is everywhere. Whatever we do in Nigeria, if we think they cannot capture it, the CNA can bring what happened in Lekki Covid. That means anything can happen. The world is watching. Let us exercise our right in 2023 by voting these people out. That is my only take. My only take is we have the right to vote out these people. Election can be done free and fair. You stay my there brother. in your polling booth. Yeah. You stay right there in the police sector. We have an election. Sorry, I want, I want to tell you something, please. Yeah. yeah. Hold on a second. He cannot hear you. 
Uh -huh. Nigeria, we want to tell our people the truth. The truth is this. Yeah. That is the solution. Nigeria is not working and is not going to work. First of oh. all, the election you are talking about, have you treated the issue of tribalism? Look, nobody should expect anything like revolution in Nigeria. It's not that revolution will turn to crisis, ethnic crisis. First of all, the Northerners believe that their brother must rule. During Jonathan, for a Northerner accepting a, the position of vice, they went to his house and burned it down using mentality. So now, for, for accepting whatever these people are doing, first of all, their religion play a role. So many of them, like the one that happened between the Edo and Ochi road, you had when the, the, the high witness said, the first thing they were shouting was the, the name of, their, of what they worship and how they worship. Now, they are doing what they are doing with a view of reward from God. Please, we should stop brainwashing our people. The hour has come that we have to stand. These people have a plan. They have one, they have two, they have three. They have four, they have so many. As we are talking, any crisis, their military general can seize the country and it will still be simple learning because they are the one holding the, the military now. What are you going to do? So let me tell you, my brother, let's come together. We are not the same. No election, election will not save us. And there is no amount of restructuring we put before these people that will make sense to them. Our brother was there. That's why I told you the level of our education is just to, uh, not to speak with big grammar, to reason all day. When Nigeria Detama was the president five years, he not reached to restructure. He not see all these things. Now, because of the way they tell our brother, say he go work. That is why tomorrow they go see give you chance, give a doma chance. He go go there, go say he go work. They will only allow you to rule for your five years. When they come, they continue again where they stop, and then we will be complete. They'll tell you, not be your brother did there before. Why no restructure? So, my dear, make we get that mindset. We not be one. The the waiting day ahead. He pass waiting with the see here. The enemy, they are, they are well planned. They get people who they sponsor them outside the country already. He bought my business a few years ago. Now, so people go import goods. You know, Igbo people, they import goods from Benin. A lot of things. As their goods reach, the federal government make law. Borders close. You know how many million will go for that. You don't hear compensation. Then, that same week, he traveled to Egypt. He announced that all these people can come to Nigeria. They'll come collect visa. First of all, your citizens, they don't get identity. So okay, they say president now they sit down on their own, a do man or they data man or they Igbo man, I know say Igbo man who did they make law, they say Ruga. You did that when they resign and talk to the law. This, we don't have the same mentality. Let us not be deceiving our people. So okay, at the same time, that Ruga is great tension. They can't they can't use another strategy. They sign law, say all the river away there for Bini. Now they are home because now they be federal government. You never hear that when you there. The constitution when they say one uh, we Nigeria. Did you see any ago matter? So Nigeria will not work. This was Zobia. My brother, this was Zobia where he go. Yoruba and now Sada marriage with three of them. We beat it, they give them. We we know the best their people not they there. So now they do one. The thing now is all sour. Now they don't see him. Everybody <laughs> knows say yeah, it don't matter. So, so man, I, 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 I want to ask you well, this marriage, I, I, this marriage, you know, they produce anything good, and it will not produce. You. Let us tell our people the truth. Do you know? Nice as a certain people. But my brother, let me quick, let me quickly ask this question. Do you know Nigeria voted for Buhari the first four years? Listen, we, yes, you know why? Not the you know see, no for you know yeah. Listen, though, yeah, make I answer your question right. because you need explanation. You need explanation. You, you know what? You know why we vote. Wait, Lucky, can, can you can you can you excuse okay. me, please? If we are yeah. saying our electoral system is not working, how come the Nigerians needed change during the time of Jonathan and they Sister voted Jonathan? Want to say because, because, yes. yeah, because oh, okay. Yeah. One minute, please. They voted President Buhari in the first four years. I cannot give I cannot attest for the other four years. President Buhari, if I take a proper note, I was in Nigeria then, the whole country was jubilating because their vote was actually counted. If we are saying yeah. our electoral system so is not, dear, brother, is not if free free and free. Free. Listen, let me not forget what I want to tell you. I have a Okay. We we don't they do call and response, and it's not so supposed to be. In we don't want... Can, can, can you allow me to say, I want to drive at a point. 
What yes. I'm saying is this. Good luck, Jonathan was there for four years. Let's say five years uh, with the additional year he took from the late uh, President Yaradua. If we didn't seek for change and people came out and voted for change and their, their, their vote was actually counted and President Buhari came in power and we think our election system is not working, why do we think so? That is one notion I want Nigerians to be having. Our election system is, is very much active to the extent that we, Nigerians, if we come together, I know there is a lot of tribalism, there is a lot of uh, 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 different uh, ethnic groups and whatever, but trust me, why I use Edo State as an instance? You and I are diaspora. If all the diaspora in Nigeria and all the youths in Nigeria come together, the youth of Nigeria conquer Nigeria. Why we the diaspora? Yeah, if I talk to my papa, my papa will listen. Why? Because my papa knows say I get major role to play for a life. If I talk to my mama, my mama go listen. I go tell my mama say this na waiting. I want say make you do. My mama go do it for me. I go tell my papa this now because more often time the people that are suffering this thing are the illiterate, the people that didn't go to school, the people that doesn't know what it is to invest in the future. Accountability is what Nigerians are not are not are not responsible for. When we start thinking about accountability, whoever we are sending there. We give us what we want. We come out and tell us, yes, this is the report of the things going on in the nation. Then that way, we have a way forward. But if we say we cannot get the change from our PVC and our vote, trust me, there is no other way. You and I are just only going to come out and ask these people to do the right thing. They are not- My going brother, to can I tell you something? Since 1960, since 1960. Can I quickly tell you something? Excuse me, if free and fair election, please, if free and fair election brought Buhari into power, yes. and now we are now under a siege, we are under conquest, which other free and fair election will you do that will make, make Nigeria to go forward? My yes. brother, Nigeria is not working and it's not going to work. The reason is this. Let me tell you the reason. The, east, the arrangement between Wazobia is the problem of our country. They don't, I want to tell you the truth. The 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 zoo uh, the zoo inside they, they are they know politics based on their religion. Now the why is now saying itself that that arrangement is also going to push them to where they push Iboto. So that is why they create Abuteku. So my dear brother, those people understand that this country is not going to work again. It is who that is deceiving our people. There is no true foundation for Nigeria. The British people came with conquest and they create a, a country uh, and they also make sure they conquer the the real indigenous people. They force a country into us. The people who call for independent Atoni Anaru, I want to ask you, he is from a dose. Do you see his picture in any money? Are those people there are they better than him? Do you see the picture of uh, what is the uh, first of Sokotiebo? Do they remember any people on the federal level that came from your region? So let me tell you, my brother, a free and fair election has been tested, it failed. Nigeria is going to fail. Let us not be deceiving our people. And those people should rise up and demand. For their own future that is the real solution we need restructuring and that restructuring we must stand for it and if they don't want we take our nation back but our nation was taken by force by the british and we cannot continue to be it is very painful when i see my tradition some of our leaders stakeholders mm. telling me that in nigeria what kind of nigeria Hold on, hold on. Thank you very much. Um, patience to Thank be you, uh, in the talk show. Um, and not forget you, you know, say, as talk, they, they go, they come. Eh? I need to mm. they reshuffle the whole thing. All right, so the okay, ball is now you. in your court. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my, my brothers, when I talk well, when I talk, when I talk it could well, well. But what I believe is that this uh, VVC, when my brother they talk, my brother, he no go work for Nigeria. Because right from time, nothing, nothing like VVC when they can't. Uno unless you know they can't for Nigeria. As not time at today, so if you don't like you don't do anything, they're not going to allow any, any other person to enter the Asoro. That one are number one, as you see them so. So this uh, one Nigeria, when they talk, for me, there's no one Nigeria. That one are so banker. Make sure they deceive our people. Do not even go do. Make us come together. Come together because this uh, 
This is why they talk. You not go work today. You not go work today. You not work twenty work years to work for Nigeria. Nigeria not go work. That one not go work for Nigeria. Make with your father first come together. We be new. We are anybody. Ask boy. A data or ego. Let's come together and come unite together. and put this together. That is only thing yeah. we can win this case. That this is not. We not go win this case because this not for people. The way that they think, it they different. The way you they think, the way we they think, it they different. If you like, carry twenty VVC go for. If not, I say no. Any more man will go enter that city. They not go enter there. Even our governors when they rule self, they are not ruling well because the northern that they control them. What do you want work yeah. for Nigeria? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Make you work, my brother. Uh, make us make work for restructuring. Because we are not in your mind that you see most of Nigeria people. Okay. People don't know right. where they stand. Let's come together. This is the only thing I want to say. Let's come together. We not let us come together. As I said, not an as to me, not an as an adan get Nigeria. When they carry Nigeria now, if you are best in marriage, the marriage not work again. They not they divide. <laughs> yeah, brother Tino, sir, I I get one question for you, sister Patient. Okay. Thank you for that. Uh, yes, not true. You did talk, but uh, sister, uh, brother Tino, sir, you keep saying that Nigeria is not going to work, and you are referencing and those states are uh, the ancient kingdom of Benin and everything. Are you advocating for secession, or you want restructuring of Nigeria that has to do with one Nigeria? This is a big question because I can see from your conversation that uh, you are indirectly advocating for secession. For Edo State, go ahead, my my dear sister. What, what made people to call for a, a, a secession is because the, the the agreement on ground is not working. So the truth of the matter is this: the Benin as an empire, when the British came, they made a country, and that was a complete empire. In their own place, they were killing themselves. Why a do man, a do a, a do kingdom was able to stand? You understand me? A Benin kingdom within the Benin Empire. The Eka Kingdom was able to stand for Eka people. The Shekiri Kingdom was there. The Robo Kingdom, they were there. The, even the Igbos of this Asaba, they also had their own kingdom. Now, all these people live together in peace, in trade. Maybe they have differences, but they were also having a way of living in peace, just the way we live today in the Dua Delta. They destroy everything. Our king were deported to a different land. Jaja Popogo, Danao Fishekiri, Oba Obini. And so many other ones that died, they don't ever keep the record for us, forcing them and killing them. So, okay, now at the end of it all, our ancestors were not Nigeria. Nigeria came by force. People force us particularly way into it. It is time oh, we have to open the brain for our people that this Nigeria is a scam and it has been imposed upon us to, to kill us. And everything about us is, 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 is a great danger is facing every all our inheritance, both the traditional throne. Because they are trying to push the youth to be seen, their traditional leaders not standing for them, which is very dangerous. Now, this one is the most cat catastrophic aspect of it. It is they have to start coming out. Because Nigeria is not the restructuring, the enemy will not allow you to restructure. Because when you, their fear is deep. When you restructure, you have your security, you are controlling them. They are not coming there to come and control your resources again. They will not control yes, your water. So we will, yes. we will not do it. Yes, they, they were not there. They signed a bill. Imagine someone signing a bill to come and control your water. Signing a bill that you must create land for his people to start a different culture. And those people with impunity to keep and without any tribe. Why is it going to work? The restructuring of the is not working for us. Go ahead. My sister, there is no one. Sister, please wait first. No verse. My sister, there is no one Nigeria right from time. There is no one. Let me stop this one Nigeria. There is yes. no one Nigeria. There is never one Nigeria. If I Nigeria come, they don't they keep our people right from up to today. They are sick. There is no one Nigeria. When you go get security on your side and go cancel them, but not I go get security for the side, they go, go there exist. There is no one Nigeria. Because any other person do something, they know they question them. But if mm. I was do something, they go. So he show you one Nigeria. There's no one that could stop this one Nigeria because it not work. It not feel work. And it not go work. Yeah. What, is, what are we going yeah. to do? To I, so what? What is this? What, 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 okay. what, uh, like, like what I'm saying. Like what I'm saying, please. Like what I'm saying. We all have been talking about there is no one Nigeria. There's mm -hmm. no one Nigeria. We know this. Mm -hmm. And trust me, 
we all are saying this. What are we going to What is the way forward? Because, like I am saying, the way, you, you want me to tell you the way forward? They're not going to share Nigeria. They're not going to share Nigeria. You and I know that. They are not going to share Nigeria. You and I know the Northerners are not going to share Nigeria. What is the way forward? What are the common man? Eh? Because if you check it, 80% of Nigerians or 90% of Nigerians are the common people. What are the common people are going to do to bring these people out from that very particular city which they think it belongs to them? What me are the rights? Let me, let me, me, yeah, me I get answer to your question. Yes, I get answer to your question. We have to alternatives yes, in order yes. to uh, to solve these yeah. problems facing yes, the country. Please. Two alternatives. One is yes. either restructuring of Nigeria. So we have to uh, come out with some demands for restructuring of Nigeria, okay. just like what the youth did during the ENSAS okay. protest. Number okay. two uh, is uh, dividing the country because we are fed up. One Nigeria is not working anymore. Okay. Because you know, we're working with my sister. Can I answer? Can I answer? Let me finish. Let me him talk. Can I ask? Can I answer those two questions, please? Yeah. She's not asking a question. Hold yeah. on, Donald. She's not asking a question. So I wanted yeah. to uh, reference something. Let's, yeah, okay. let's have reference. I wanted to, yeah. want to say something, please. Can, can, can I say this? We okay. all saw what happened during the protest. Because if we are going like this, we are putting endangering the life of the common man. Because the common people are the people at the extreme end that suffers all this. We are calling for a, 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 a break, a, a, a splitting of Nigeria. Who is going to be on the front line? Of this this splitting of Nigeria, it, the it, common it, man and the government. Please, can I speak, please? The common man that is going to go and protest this thing. The government are going to unleash soldiers and police on them. And secondly, we are talking about. Listen, I have. It's not like telling people to go to war. Now, like it, the solution is restructuring. Number one. Because we saw, you, at the end, we saw the lives that lost. The life that was that was the, that they lost in Lekki Pogues. Who is talking about those lives today? Those people, they've died, they've gone. The only way we can achieve success in Nigeria, and if the people comes out with their PVC and do the right thing, this is the same thing. I don't know. 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 If you have been following okay. Nigerian elections, I don't see why we we'll keep talking about this. If what is not working in Nigeria, Nigeria. if so can can we we a, 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 a that Nigeria cannot change, even if it has not been working before, it can work. It's so the thing it's is it's educating the people. people, educating the people through PVC. I'm telling you, the way the, the politicians are so corrupt, the way they can compromise voters during election period, there's no hope. These people, they subject our citizens to extreme poverty so that during election period, they can buy their votes. You understand? That's what happened in the election. So if you have been following the general election, there's no need of wasting our time about this PVC. It's not working. Let me tell you why when Nigeria has not been working for this country. Okay, when Nigeria gained uh, independence in 1960, just a few years after the independence, you know what happened? Political and tribal tensions engulfed the country. That gradually okay. exacerbated okay. the... That gradually exacerbated... The Hello, what, please, I'm talking. So this uh, political and tribal tensions has exacerbated the civil war. You understand? If you go back to history, those who have been studying Nigerian history, what happened after independence? How long the Northerners were uh, persecuting the Igbos in the Northern region of Nigeria? So it's not working. Tribal, we cannot deny the fact that tribalism is at the root of corruption exists in Nigeria. It's not working. Either we restructure Nigeria or we have to go on our separate ways. It's not working anymore this you know the amalgamation of nigeria is too much you cannot amalgamate many tribal groups you know how many tribal groups we have in nigeria more than 200 more than 200 i'm telling you so it's just too much it's too much for a country right now according to what is going on right from independence we have continuous always experiencing tribal tension conflict and if you look deep 
And uh, into the problems of Nigeria right now, tribalism is one of the cause of the problems that we are uh, we are uh, experiencing in the country. And then we restructure this country, all we have to go on our separate because it's not working. Nigeria is getting worse every day. The insecurity affecting the country right now, because we are discussing about insecurity, we have to focus on, on the topic in question. Okay, look at the insecurity insecurity and see how the northerners are playing major role in this insecurity in the country full and he men who are terrorizing the country killing innocent civilians they are being compensated in the northern region of nigeria the federal government is offering money for them okay so uh full and he men uh, are receiving compensation boko haram the other day they were proposing a northern leader came to the house proposing a bill to rehabilitate full uh, Boko Haram. Rehabilitating Boko Haram has to do with uh, Western education. They said they want to give them uh, a kind of a uh, Western education. So Boko Haram, who is terrorizing the country over these years, they deserve compensation of rehabilitation, also foreign education. So why the uh, innocent citizens for Nigeria those who are obeying the law, law-abiding citizens, our youths who are going to school, they not deserve it. They not deserve foreign education. But Boko Haram, when we say if they keep people every day, they adopt high hundreds of children for school. Now they can't deserve. Please, Nigeria is not working as a country. Either we restructure this Nigeria properly so that the leaders will obey uh, the principles of democracy in the country, or we have to go on our separate ways. Otherwise, Nigeria is not working. Look at what is going on in Nigeria now. People cannot do interstate travels. You cannot travel from Benito Lagos. You cannot travel inland from Benito uh, Abuja because of lack of security in the country. What type of country is that? Nigeria will cease to exist if we don't restructure this country as soon as possible. And that will restructure, or we go on our separate ways and provide security. Then we have our own security uh, outfits in our various states or our various countries if we have to divide. It's too alternative. I'm telling you, otherwise, this country will go in flame. It will go in flame. A question, a question, I beg, no verse. I want to ask a question before I forget. So, how do we restructure, please? Restructuring of Nigeria has to do with uh, dealing with corruption in the system, tribalism. Uh, this idea of uh, power concentrated in the hands of the Northerners. Okay, power should be equally distributed in the country among all citizens. That is the first thing. You understand? How it can be possible. They say way. They they say way. They can structure the power. You understand? You understand me? They can structure it like we can ministers based on population. Okay, the northerners. How many people do we have in the northern region? How many Yoruba people do we have? How many uh, Igbo people do we have in the country? How many, you know, like that? We can do the mathematics and make sure that power is equally distributed among all citizens in the country. Not that uh, right now the, the the system that we are running concentrate power in the hands of only the Northerners. The Northerners are ruling the country. Okay, right now, we are demanding for restructuring of Nigeria in the southern region of Nigeria. Why the Northern leaders are not, they are not after restructuring of Nigeria. We are not speaking in one voice. Do we have one Nigeria? Um, in decision making, we should be collective. Speak, we need to be speaking in one voice, but it's not like that. Let me give you an example. During the SS protest, the Northern leaders, they came together and organized a meeting Demanding for social media B that uh, the SS protest is posing threats to the leadership of President Muhammadu Buhari, why the certain leaders were excluded. So when the certain leaders organized their own meeting, they were saying that uh, SS protest is a democratic right in a democratic society like Nigeria. That uh, the youth have the right to protest, to organize peaceful protests in the country. So, when the Northerners are speaking in different voice, saying that uh, the SS protest is posing threats to the leadership of their own President Muhammadu Buhari, where the certain leaders are opposing them. So, the certain leaders were demanding for restructuring of Nigeria. The Northern leaders are not demanding for any restructuring of Nigeria. They were even praising the Northern youth for not participating in the SS protest. We don't have one Nigeria. Practically, we are divided along tribal lines in Nigeria. Can I say one? Can I say one thing, please? Um, uh, to 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 dive into what you are saying, to bring all these things into into land life, it has to pass through uh, the house of, uh, of 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 representative. Trust me, before anything gets into land life, 
these people are there to stop everything. We, we, the system of Nigeria, you and I know the system of Nigeria. We need to do away with these old people. Nigeria don't have law anymore. There is no way Nigeria, the common man can come out and stand up and say they want change in Nigeria without them passing it into the bill for them to implement it. It has to pass for the bill and then we implement it. And for that thing to be implemented, it has to be the same people to make that decision. So how are those things going to work? We are just saying all these things. And trust me, if these things get into the bill, these same people are the same northerners that are still there. It's, they're going to stop all these things. And trust me, before a country is being shared, the UN has to involve a lot of things need to be put in consideration. That's why I'm saying that the only way if the South, if the, if the South South can unite with the West and the South Central and the whole take note out of it, let other regions unite together and let their PVC on during 2023 take a out and stand up that they are Nigerians, that they want to take what rightfully belongs to them. In 2023, okay. it will be achieved. That okay. is just my take. Because can I tell if, if you this you thing? Please, can I tell you to do what we are saying now? Okay. Yes, please, one minute. All these things we are saying now, eh? It, they have to pass into the bill. And if they pass into the bill, it has to be approved by the federal government and by the House of a, 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 a Representative. So Hello. tell me how is this thing going Mr. Donald. Mr. Yes, Donald. Mr. Donald. Yes, sir. Donna. Yes, sir. Which, yes, sir. Which, parla which parliament will pass into the law? Full and parliament, they are the majority. Look, all the rules are put together. When we vote, listen. When you are not on the same We vote, listen. If you have, if you still believe in this kind of debt system, you are in a very big mistake. Someone will go to their house, they will write a constitution for you. It's independent. You, your people don't participate. You call that one a country. Okay, we are doing call and can I say this? If, sir, please, if if you are saying it's the same we have to uh, uh, Don Donald, Don Donald, we minute, have please. to make it uh, yeah, my, my a second. One, minute, one, minute. A second. one second, one second. We have to make it brief yeah. so that the thing will go okay. round because some people now talk, okay. talk at all. Make them for still okay. get and, uh, make a, make a, make a, and also when we for round them up, we go come back again, come finish them. If we if we say yeah, that make us say this, make a wrap up, make a wrap up. Right. Well, say, hey, I go wrap up. You know where I want wrap up, you say we they talk these things, eh? eh? Let's make we make our demand to the federal government, to the house of uh, representatives. How are they going to implement it if they are the same people there? They're not gonna do anything. Let the West come together. Let the South South come together. Let all these regions come together. And during the time of our election, let's unite and vote this people. The only way we can achieve this is to vote them out. If we don't vote them out, they're still going to be there. They're still going to make that decision. We have what we say, make we take the bull by the horn. Make the innocent people come out, protest. We saw what happened in the last protest. They, they're going to send the soldiers military over our people. And nobody get picking when one die now. Nobody get picking when one lose. Putting all the name of uh, uh, we need a better Nigeria or we want a change. All we just ask is let's exercise our right when it is needful. If Buhari can win the first election by the whole Nigerians that voted, Buhari won that election. I will tell you 100% the first election, Buhari won that election because why? Nigerians voted for Bwari. If they can vote for Bwari, say Baba at that time, they can also bring a candidate out that Nigeria will say, yes, yeah, this person we can hold accountable. If anything goes wrong, he or she can come out and give Nigeria assurance and tell them like, this is the reason why this thing is wrong. And this is the thing I'm doing to make this thing move forward. We need somebody accountable. If we are saying we want we want a change or we, we want to speak Nigeria, Nigeria, oh, Nigeria, Nigeria for Nigeria. this thing, please make we do this thing fast. Make we come up for you, please. Make you nervous, brother. Um, you talk well, but this uh, uh, this uh, uh, vote vote where you they talk, my brother. You <laughs> know, say me and you feel they here they talk. Lot of people don't pull who go there twenty twenty three. Do you know that? They're going to arrange you go there, there, 2023. As me and you there, here, they talk, so. 
So this uh, voting something no go be what? Eh? That's why we need to start on time. We need to start now. They need to start now. That that is that one thing that one where this is where you they talk to me. I not buy up to me. I not there at long say uh, your vote go vote of Nigeria. Your VVC for Nigeria. Not be today go start to the camps. Not be twenty twenty three go make a camp. You know the camps because you not go free camps. The only thing that as my sister say, either restriction for me, make them divide and make everybody go your way. That this one no, no. because you don't go know everybody yeah. happens for them. Then they divide Nigeria. Make everybody go in way. Everybody go to find security. You don't know say people don't go see. You don't go and make your picking die. Make uh, because of the one the fair Nigeria. We stay for Nigeria. You can't stay for Nigeria. That that one we're poking around they do now. Everybody not go die. If they don't take time. Is this what happened now for Nigeria? Who's safe for Nigeria? Who's safe? Nobody's safe. Everybody they fear. Even Buari, uh, Buari says, like they kidnap 400 people. Or who talk? Buari talk? What are we talking about here? Hmm. Nigeria no go, even research, Nigeria no go feel restricted. Uh, Northern are no go feel, they no go agree, make them restrict Nigeria. Make them divide them, make everybody yeah, go away. Now, this one, I don't know. For me, my make them my, divide it. My, my and if they want to divide it, we that uh, Igbo, Yoruba, be, let us come together and say this is what, like, we come with yeah. we, we have to know now that unity we want now. It's not that I said I don't get Nigeria. Maybe they carry Nigeria because now they really they rule Nigeria right from Takete since I was born. No, 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 for me, make them divide them. Make them not vest my brother. Make them divide them. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Cindy in the building, Cindy <laughs> Poch TV. So tell us no, your um, opinion so that we go wrap this thing up. The next time we will come finish and because we're not going to talk the whole story in one day. Nigeria <laughs> took people where we go to conclude the matter for one day. <laughs> when I wear them with my brothers and my sisters, when thank I really talk much. this matter, the team, he enter. Everything will all of not the talk. Now, correct one. For me, Nigeria don't divide since. If you look inside Nigeria, now, so so full of people, now only they day for EFCC, now they be police, now they be custom, now then they, now the embassy, come for embassy for diaspora, I go see how some are with the back money for road, now I'm the ambassador. So for me, Nigeria don't divide since. May they, either they restructure, if they agree, or if they no agree, make the 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 Yorubas, the Igbos, the Deltas, the Benis, may we come together and our coming together, Abegona, make we not get one bad egg where BC will come betray us. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because all of us know say this will and you know say he still gets and nobody to come together with the team. We still get some bad eggs inside coming together. You don't know who who still get on truth if he come together with you, but you see they work with those full of people. So you are coming together, let it be in one unity. Even that name Nigeria self, you know, sweet me because the name self, you know, bring good thing. Actually, since when me I the bomb meeting now, now only I was I was I was I was I be full and the only one person where for even manage rule or small, they still take Boko Haram, scatter every gym. Now be our brother Jonathan, they don't let the man rule. When when the man they rule, at least they still they flow. You go still see some level you go do, but now nothing. Buari carry everything. Even the Buari self, I don't even know, know who they who they there. Now only God know. Carry everything, carry and put for 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 their own land. Nothing they happen. They are gods, they are far good. They say they're going to sell them to Nigeria. Our own oil that they take and pay terrorists, they pay them. We where we get the thing with the suffer. I beg. For me, or my own opinion, I won't make we divide. I don't even tire tired to be Nigeria. Even that Nigerian passport, if don't be smart, I for don't pull my own. And they wait to make new passport come up, make I go change my own. I don't tire to be Nigeria. Now it be my own opinion. May they divide them or they restructure because that restructure, I never see a full animal we grew. If they know grew, they made a cut, made a cut. I mean to two, made a cut. I mean to two. Everybody go their own. We stay our own. 
Now, so be my thank own. You. Thank, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. So, all of you, I thank you now. Where we're alone, uh -huh. based on waiting, I uh, seen the talk now. Now, I'll be, yeah, we talk say, even our own, uh, no, patience with the talk. Um, say, even our own president, nine be say, uh, then go kidnap students about some some uh, news say 400 some say 600 some say 300 whatever number it can still be say then still go kidnap student from the our president uh, state all right right now i hear now say the governor of the state the tabuhari say they are negotiating when i hear that news i was like what they are negotiating with the kidnappers to release okay. these people how many people be these kidnappers? Now come to think of it. Then talk say, then carry Okada machine. Eh? Now then they enter the school. They kidnap how many people? Let's assume say now just 300 people. Now now 300 Okada, now they carry come. Okay, <laughs> the next news way I receive. Now say, they are now in Zanfara forest. Now another news say now 600 people now they kidnap. Okay, then there's Zamfara Forest from Casina to Zamfara. Okay, 600 or 300 people. How then they transport them from Casina State to Zamfara Forest? How will be say the whole of Nigeria not see them when then they carry them go? Even though say them put them for inside a car, will be say they not see them, then see them tight dry. So they not see when then they come down from inside that Zamfara State. Will be say they not feel. Uh, go meet them, go do anything to make sure say them bring them. How many them be? So it can't be say kidnappers pass the whole of Nigerian population. And also, the people where you they call, say you they negotiate with them. So waiting you they negotiate to give them money. Now you are giving them more power if you power. negotiate now. Mm -hmm. Say they, they can't tell you, say this one are waiting we need. For you to get this uh, student where we kidnap. Now, if now don't do that trade by butter, will you not think, say, even though say get even you to not be how sad people say, where don't they hungry? You're not sure, say, then go go recruit themselves to become headsmen. Say, it be like, say, this kidnapping thing, they work. Where they'll go, they enter schools, go, they kidnap, so that then go, they get negotiation with a whole governor of a state yeah. and a whole president. Negotiation of waiting to release people with them. The Chibo girls where they kidnap that, that time. How many negotiations then do? How many when a uh, patient um, uh, uh, as a uh, first lady, they cry, say, there is God, though. How many of them then release? Some of them don't become uh, uh, mothers. Some of them they don't they don't kill. Some of them they don't sell them. How many of them then release? Right now with the here say eh, because now uh, from a, a governor uh, yes. president, yes. No, president. Now, mm -hmm. say, right now the news now they talk say eh, make una hold on make I make I read them say eh, breaking news mm -hmm. who break them who break the news say breaking news that eh, the total number of the total number of all the kidnapped. Uh, 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 students have been released by the okay. Say breaking news adopted. Uh, Kankara school boys regain freedom. Over 300 students adopted by the bandits at the government science secondary school in uh, Kankara have regained freedom. The boys were released at about 2 20 p.m. on Thursday after, after <laughs> negotiation. After, after, after after Six nights in captivity and after negotiation. So waiting, hmm. then do they be say all of them then release them. The Chibo girls, why they not do negotiation? Why they not release them? Thank you. So hmm. I'm seeing, I'm hmm. seeing a foul play here. I'm seeing politics being played here. Hmm. Uh, no mind them. Not even one of them die. Not even one hmm. of them. Yes. And the casting up uh, governor, they talk say hmm. no. We are not there when we talk about negotiation. We are not talking that we are giving them money. Okay, mm. what's it gonna give them? We're gonna mm. give them water drink, mm. we're gonna give them what's it gonna give them go to eat, we're gonna cook salad for them. Waiting be the negotiation. We're gonna do well, we're not feed drum. Make this has men make it end. Yes, so this one now for so it for yes. another. Thing. Yes. Make I come inside, just talk small thing. I'm not saying time don't go where well, we well. yes, talk and mm. Jerry. So uh, what I want to be say, like uh, I see the, the side of my brother uh, Don Donald. Uh, this one what would they say make Nigeria divide, make it divide, and not divide. 
na na guage and now they go anywhere now they divide the reason why maybe they talk so be say even when we look now like for the east when our brothers there they say oh we want a so 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 country biafra country the east there which kind of security or which kind maybe even say they say now nah, all the civil defense people where they don't put money together the person they lead them what did they don't do to say the east we want to kind of set example for security Say these people not go to call here, come kidnap our people. How they don't do and pass every day, the day that they kidnap people, the day that they molest our women. So the truth be say, when would they talk say restructure? Make we sit down and think, okay, how we go restructure the country? People need to come together. The leaders, if it be say God go remove all this old beggar or make it remove them, then the ones when go come, when go really get sense and human feelings to say this country go move forward. How they tell move forward? May they come talk. But the same in Nigeria divide. And they tell you not the truth. Or like what did our brother talk? Some people go tell you that they eat money from people hand, they eat money from people hand. The thing be say, who go be the next leader? Tell them, say, okay, what will be your manifesto? Tell us what you want for the country and what you don't do before. Now we go tell judge you. Then make everybody join hands. Say, like from now, this year don't finish now, from next year. May they begin work. So yeah, you gotta go village by village, place by place. Go tell them, say no vote for anybody anyhow, and make everybody ready. Make I even ask us one question: This book around, we they talk now? Say the big past Nigeria. I be all these kidnappers, the big past Nigeria. It means I will not get military people or police. Mm -hmm. they go say, so, yeah, this thing make it end, make it end. If we get better government. So the truth of the matter, we say. Now the government, what we get when we say, he get what thing they happen for their head and their sense. If we get better government, they go call these people. Say no, enough of this politics. Whether they play tomorrow, you go see this one here. Every state go put their law. Every state go put their civil defense. Even my village now. If somebody get ten head, may go my village, because the people in the diaspora they don't bring up money. Say they must do better civil defense. If you can't, then suspect your movement, shoot. Who be the Boko Haram people when they say Nigerian people not go feel face? So if we're not voting the right person, say God forbid, say in the next three, four years, we see there here they talk this kind of story. Military fit take over. They fit take over. Because nobody wants to take country when they say you go get hypertension. So even more, we can't go by crayfish and hypertension. So to say we want to divide Nigeria, my sister and my brothers. I'm not sure say it will work. Now, how people go to vote the better person will not say it go perfect. Will not say it go the hundred percent. You know, yes, and they go to vote the better person. They enter that seat. And it was our leaders from South South. What would they talk about? So, if I remember one time, come on, my brother. If I remember one time, when was somebody who might be the name of the guy who won't go for presidency, now be equipment go sabotage, say one say a contest. When made them divide the vote. Now we go still sabotage ourselves. So the truth be say that dividing of Nigeria, I not see and say it go happen you no, know, because you know why? The Yoruba, the Igbo, the Edo, the Cross Riverians will not get one mind. One, I don't the inside room discuss finish. One person go go sell on a bet right. You go go tell and say, see what you talk. If you want to give me money, give me small, but I just can't tell you, not send me talk more. So, all this and what they say, they can divide, they can divide. Mm. I don't say I say go work. Now, but the one that they are not going to feel work. That man, they are okay, not going to feel work. Okay, mommy, let's throw something. You're not going to feel work. Whether we like it or not, let's throw something. Nothing, hold on a second, patience, hold on a second. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, because of the uh, Boko Haram, I want to show you the video. I want to see how people wear they wear uniform. Hmm? Make una see say now many of them, some of them also, na them be the armed robbers and na, na them be the kidnappers. Oh, na people where they pretend mm. they'll go wear mm. the uniform. Yes. Make una watch the video right here. Nature. 
Yes, Northerners and Boko Haram. Now, Nigeria propaganda where they say they deceive us. Make we know that one. The Northerners make a given away expo. The reason why the president of Nigeria allowed that act to happen in his state because make any other state not come and talk about insecurity because the insecurity said the rich is dead. Those are political <laughs> propaganda. Mm -hmm. Those are political arrangements. So we people should be aware that Boko Haram eh, is a pressure group that came out during Good Lord Jonathan time. They become very much effective during Good Lord Jonathan time just to destabilize the, the government. So yeah. anything they are doing now, they are doing it just to play formalities. Make people not to say, uh, during no, this time it happened, now it might not happen. Because mm. people have been yeah. saying that. And they can just <laughs> ask that actual thing. The actual True. Thing. Uh, Hello, my brother. brother. <laughs> 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 Donald. 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 So far yes, Donald. Make I quit throw yes, smart in a bag. Sorry, say I not cut you off. My other smart thing. That that Jonathan administration, not the Jonathan administration, Boko Haram start. The history of Boko Haram, they no one no, tell us. I know, us. I know. So, the thing is, not get okay. But I want to tell you, get one thing. Make all Nigeria still look this thing. You get anything with Boko Haram, they do for Jonathan time, where they not do today. So in other words, they are also destabilizing this man administration. As I tell you before, this monster they don't already create them. Now they cannot control it again. Like people with the toss, they not go divine Nigeria. It's like. We want to train the brain of our people to accept killing as a normal something. You understand me? Aunsa, aunsa, keep ruling because we are minority as a normal thing. So this is the problem. We must tell our people the truth. Nigeria is not working. It's not going to work. Number one, all these youths, where they point to for not, they have trained their brain for conquest. That is why you have, if you see all of them, even though the young guy, if he enter, he will put that their agenda first. It's way power because they are very strategic. Now we Nigerians, they ain't give them chance. As I tell you before, Wazobia, they put us for this problem. When the Yorubas and Igbos, they agree with them. Because they were running away from us. They're not good for one Nigeria. They say they're not one Nigeria. Go and find history very well. They say they're not go to school. They tell our they tell our people for sex. Say una, una, una go take our land. Then they complain. Our people say so okay, no worry. If our brother for South score 50, your people score 25. They will give them the same mark. Exactly. We go put we go put your brother as a prime minister. They can't promise, promise, promise. Now they can't take greed. Maybe they try to tell our people good is because they know say they be different people. They they kind of like they want to leave. Now we they complain say we don't get vote. They know they complain to say now then they, they go they enjoy. Them. We don't respect some high level of civilization you know, different from their own. So these same people, this arrangement where they give them, then they say they rule us. They're not if we would they describe them like say that they fight, they know they fight war. The assistant be say they go wait, make we fight ourselves, they'll consider. The civil war, you see full and We just <laughs> embrace our people. Many evil people go they and they tell you the truth because they don't want they don't want settle down, give people history. That's what people see they see they behave the way that they behave. They're not they you cannot see any single full and person name for that. We take away life. All those guys were okay, Christian. Brother, brother, lucky, quick question. Question so that you go answer them together. What do you mean okay. they ask Nanabi say this Boko Boko is strong past the whole Nigeria for South and everywhere? Uh, mommy, le, madam, let me tell you something. This thing, 
is they they are very strong because they have a standard network. Two, the problem is say you know when they don't create them, different ideology go they come because you have to do with religion, so they don't feel control them again. So this is the problem. Not that they are more than us, but because we start, no one study history. That is why we they allow them to they do what they they do. First of all, as they run rich after the civil war, they don't enter power. They will not have anybody. Go one and middle bed. He rule for many years now. The same full anyway with the complaints today. They want to take our country. They they quiet. They, but they know what they want. They are smarter than us. That's why we should allow them to go away. And after that nine can I, years, Moretala Mohammed came in. He did not rule. A Yoruba man enter. A Satan. Now he rule. They see they quiet. Now when Baba Gida enter, he dead from the plant and my everywhere. They continue to rule us in these days. We are still complaining. Let me tell you, we should educate our people. Nigeria will not work. And there is no way it's going to work. Those North Anans, they are paying their children for conquest. There is no way you will let them and expect them to reason like a Doma or Igboma or Yoruba. It's impossible. So Let's the truth of the matter... Let us also use our mouth to say something please, positive. Can I, Nigeria... Can I, can I say something? Mommy, please, please let me just quickly correct this one. No, that one you said, listen, we have used religion to kill our people. Let me tell you, we Nigeria, we claim, we claim that we know Bible more than the Jews. Let me just quickly clear this one. Please give me some few minutes. We claim we know Bible more than the Jews. Look at them very well. They prepare themselves for all scenarios. That is why they are surviving. We go to claim, say we should not use our mouth. I thank God today that pastor, I call the confess, say that so they keep people for church. Before if you talk and they'll say you say negativity. The same pastors and prophets are not the ones crying, they bomb my church. They are not the ones using their mouth. This, this religion, we have used it to brainwash our people. Why they use it to prepare their people for politics every blessed day? They are very strategic. Mm -hmm. They are afraid of one thing. Can we adjoin yeah. so that we can we yeah, can, we can, we can continue this conversation? We have to adjoin. Before you ask one thing, let me talk one thing, Abeg. Quick, quick, quick one, Abeg. Quick okay. one, Abeg. And you see, okay. how many South South? How many South South? Abeg, may I quick talk this out? How many South South youth they join soldier today? Mm -hmm. How many West they join soldier today? How many middle bet they join soldier today? All the, the Nigerian soldier is gone. We now have full army soldier. So that is only full army yes. who are joining. Yes. Uh -uh. Yes. Can, can we don't have Nigerian soldier again. Can I speak? Can I speak? Yes. yes. You see, uh, this is where I'm com this is where I'm coming from. When I talk to you, if people will say we want to share Nigeria, mm. these people believe in one command. One command they say that language they don't they speak. The Northern has has much much more unity than every other, the West, the South, or whatever. You understand? And these people are the main people that are that are heading the military and whatever uh, armed forces that Nigeria is operating on. So the only reason why I'm saying this is because I, I just have one advice. One advice, I still believe the only way forward for this is for us to come out in 2023, exercise our rights. The whole world is watching and they're going to intervene when the Nigerian people, the common man sees that their vote was not being counted. They come out and protest just the same way they did now. Uh, their voice will be heard and the whole world is watching. Then the UN will step in. They, they stopped, the, they, they stopped the, the, the protest that was going on. The reason why they stopped the protest is because they know that if the protest exceeds three weeks, the UN will intercede. They stopped it yes. almost immediately yes. to add the soldier yes. to stop killing people. So By what we are saying is this. Yeah, what, what we are saying is this. If Nigeria should come out and exercise their right during 2023, because that's the only way we're going to put these people out. That is my take. Everybody has their philosophy. So Everybody has so, their own take. Let that me is, tell you. That is, no, I'm, I'm coming, Mrs. Nekwe. Mr. Nekwe, please let me let me angle, please, uh, and you continue. That is my take. You might have your take. Everybody has their own plight and their view. But my own view is this: because I live in an advanced country where I believe the right of every individual is is necessary, is important. And I also believe that if we outside Nigeria see these things are working in other countries, why don't we educate our people about it and let them understand? That this same thing is still going to work right there in our country. We don't need to abolish whatever is working because if it's not working in other country, you want to implement it in Nigeria, it will not work. We are here 
because why we want to witness what is going on in other countries and tell it to our people back home that this is the system these people are operating and it's working for them why not let us abolish the same system you understand if we educate our people very well and let them know that they have every right to put and to replace anybody with their pvc when that time comes, trust me nothing is going to work uh, uh, dividing the country is not going to work because before you divide a nation trust me the the un is going to involve and a lot of things have to be put to place and if you are saying we should we should restructure the country who is going to restructure the country restructure the country, these people that are there. So the two sides we are looking at, I don't know. For me, I think it's not going to work. The only thing I know is that Nigeria should be prepared for 2023. Who they are going to bring out? Who is the person they think is most accountable? Who is the person they think Thank you very much. On that I will listen to Nigeria. And I have one quick advice for those people that are kidnapping and those people that are discussing violence. I want them to understand last also is important they should do something meaningful with their lives because uh causing chaos because the government alone are not involved in this if you check down the line uh, individuals are also involved in this they should please yes. stay away from violence yes. i thought people should stay away from violence autism is not the ultimate ultimate uh, price it's not the ultimate thing though several people in those states have made money through the courtism, through beating of people and oppressing of people, that is not the way out. I'm I'm so happy that the governor of the state have been able to like put away all those uh, 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 or whatever oppression that is happening in the state, oppressing the poor just to enrich themselves. So I have one this advice for them: they should please stay away from violence <laughs> and courtism is not the answer. That is my take off Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so let's try and round up this thing so we can adjoin it because we can finish the Nigerian discussion yeah. in one day. Another day, we we feel talk, carry the matter come out again. Until we see her okay. for what they talk about. Okay. Then we go no say yes, we actually they well, talk something. The, uh, okay, no, so I, I just want to add to what my brother just said about this idea of uh, PVC. You know, restructuring of the the on the PG mode. So the PG, I beg. Maybe the rule here. Uh -huh. Thank you for calling her to order, Jare. You do well. oh, somebody can take it. I have something to do. Somebody just uh, called me. Okay, yeah. make I run. Yeah. Let me give my own rounding speech. Okay. Uh, like our brother talk. I won't beg those people to when they kidnap those young boys. When they kidnap people, when they go people's house, go kill them or go steal. I won't tell them that their life they more than that. Mm -hmm. Now woman born them. Now man born them. The day they born them, they're happy well, well. They give their name. Everybody do party. Make they not let their name waste. Make they not let their family waste. Because all these people, when they do these things, they come from different, different family. And a disgrace mm -hmm. to say, you go outside, they call they looking for inside television, inside mirror. Come see, say, you day inside, and they say, what do you do? Now this bad thing. It's not good. So we they beg all of you now. When they go outside, when they terrorize people, now God will tell the beggar, say, make Una stop this bad behavior. So that the person ain't born on herself. Make them they happy, say, God, this people they give me now for something. Now would they take beggar? And would they also beg the government, whether not state or any level where they do, whether not send it to a house of rest, so make Una get human mind. Money, they're not the car and go grave. Even oh. self, when you enter can, I want portion of the car, now you they sit down. You know, they sit down for inside of the car. No matter how you be a rubber rich, now one side, now you go sit down. Now one bed, now you go sleep. Mm -hmm. Make consider our country, Nigeria. Nigeria, supposed to be the giant of Africa. When B say people from other nations go, they go there. Now we went there abroad. When you say you want to go to Nigeria, they say, no, I ain't going there. It's not safe. Even for office, the other day, my big director, they talk. He said there are scammers from Nigeria, they are online again in healthcare. Mm -hmm. It's not good. Nigeria passed like that. And the way God creates us with the intelligent pass like that. So now God will tell the beggar of now. Say bad thing not the play. Make one stop. Now go say end. Okay. God I, bless Nigeria. Thank you very thank much. God bless Nigeria. Okay. God bless. So yeah, my people, okay, round up. yeah, this is the round uh, round up thing. So uh, uh we are talking about the restructuring pigeon, of, pigeon. okay restructuring of nigeria when they talk uh, it encompasses everything it encompasses 
uh, free and fair election. It encompasses corruption, dealing with corruption in the system. Okay, so I understand my brother saying that uh, we need uh, this uh, uh, free and fair election for Nigeria. Uh, we should hold our PVC. Not true. So, but the restructuring where would they talk so now or everything they under this restructuring, okay? Yeah. So because if yeah. we don't restructure the system, if we don't restructure them, mm. this corruption where would they cry say PVC or PVC don't mean anything or corruption or they go back people vote to this one you will not feel survive if we don't restructure the system. So now would they talk say that restructuring now we want to when it go affect voting for Nigeria so that we will see free and fair election. All these uh, politicians, if we they elect them, say that our our PVC now they cut before they enter that office, eh, they go they go perform. They not say if they don't yeah. perform only four years another person will come. We will vote mm -hmm. another person in again. Like mm -hmm. yeah. like the other day, he understand say that we vote her in. He, he understand mm -hmm. the way they behave. Now he no say yes. And those people that vote him, he they talk him. He say he, he they vote him. Say me he serve a those things, not to they serve a, or this Godfather. So if we they do one like that, if we restructure the system, we will see say this cry cry when they cry say hey, corruption dead the system. You go everything you go solve this problem. Let me say go solve him. Finish him. But at least you go minimize him. Now what mm. that's why they say restructuring of Nigeria. You understand? So we can say, yeah. okay, now the Northern yeah. Nas, they maybe they don't agree for restructuring of Nigeria because when we say restructuring of Nigeria, we were also demanding for uh, this system of federalization. I know say some people don't understand federalization. When we are the talk, say it means say state go get power, say they manage their resources. We know say the Northern region of Nigeria, some of them they talk say uh, resources not today, not some state for Nigeria. So because of that, because say na you know na the Northern as that they rule Nigeria. Right now, they don't go agree. They don't go ever agree. Say, men, they call the operate mm -hmm. federally. Say, the system when we say go take resources away from a uh, federal hand when we say our states go they manage their resources. You know, say the Niger Delta now they get resources when we now they get the cool oil here for Nigeria. If and then they suffer where we. <laughs> so all all those people they know they happy say that they suffer for the land they won't do now they get the kudo here. So if we can remove them from federal government hand, which means uh, some some states will really get money anyhow for Nigeria. Where some states not go get nothing, they will be hungry. So at uh, the northern region of Nigeria, and uh, be said right now at uh, the northern as Nigeria or Gapatapata for Nigeria right now, they not go great. Maybe we restructure Nigeria. When we say we take the resources away from their state and push they not too much get the resources too much. Like we said, they don't get to. But then but get to. All the agriculture. Yeah, like we said, they don't get to. They don't get to. They don't get <laughs> they don't agree. They don't agree. Now some people come to talk say no. If these people, if they don't agree for restructuring of Nigeria, and right now, even though all of us they cry for restructuring, they not tell us not they cry for that. Too. The leaders they say no, they don't even get time for restructuring. Now some people come to talk say, hey, if not so, men will divide Nigeria. And many of us come say no, we don't want men Nigeria divide there. May we restructure Nigeria, may we continue to the advocate as we advocate for here. So may we advocate, they tell the government, say we need restructuring, we need restructuring so that uh, the government will listen to us, may they to, to do this restructuring so that Nigeria will be better, we will get we will make that one Nigeria. You understand now what in me i stand for one nigeria i stand for one nigeria but some people say no they don't want the one nigeria no go work oh you know whoever work in one nigeria don't go work because of the tribalism where they the system even though one nigeria the tribalism you see they affect everybody for the country that be the problem when they face so would they beg our government made them made them try all this problem when they face this country so we feel so bad by ourselves and I see they talk one thing, say the problem when they affect Nigeria, not the not the only government. Too. Men will not say these politicians won't they blame every day. Now the product of Nigeria they build, they're not far from uh, another planet, too. they're not be aliens when you fall from another planet or no planet. Now Nigeria neither for born, they neither for grow. So if we want to structure Nigeria, we have to change our mindset, all of us, all Nigerians. Corruption we will start from home, our family. We know they practice corruption in front of our children so that they don't still grow up. When they, you know, say, what thing would they do now? Our children will emulate from us. Charity mm -hmm. begins at home. Yeah. So maybe we take care of anything we do with our children. If we talk, so kind of talk, when we say, we don't say, not too good. 
Men will not put our children put for them. Men will not they practice corruption. Men will not they do anything when they wrong the presence of our children. At the school, when they, they go, another big uh, problem for the school. University for Nigeria, uh, before they go promote you, professor will say, bring money, uh, bring this up before they go promote you, go another grade. And it's not good. These children, they go to school. You say children go to school, they go to learn corruption. A, a child that went to school, and when he goes to school, a uh, professor they collect money for a hand before he pass out. If that child, if he can't graduate, what he go become? He can't get work on the same university, he can't be a professor. He said, go see, they collect money from students' hands because mm -hmm. it's the norm, it's part of the system. Now we can't just say, when we want restructure in Nigeria, may we not blame the politicians because they are all product of Nigeria. May we they train our children away, may we not they do corruption for school everywhere. All of us will contribute for this restructuring of Nigeria, not be only the government. Will. Thank you, my people. I hope I'll come. I'll see you now next time. Thank you, thank it's you very much. Well, that's the way you talk. Okay. So I hear say one second novice. Even parents now they give their children money to go bribe for school. Instead, they go sit their picking down, say no, make on read the book. Oh, uh -huh. go fit to understand and what you they read. Oh, they even they give the children money now. Then they even go bribe some of the professor. Now, what is somebody they tell me be that when they happen for Nigeria now? So the picking where you they bribe as a parent. I want to come out better. Now I want to throw inside for them. Sorry, say I jumped. Okay. In. Um, all right. All of us are all of us are better. We are rather. We have to reserve some so that we go talk them next time. So I have to leave. I have well, a question. I want. I want them to come. Maybe later. Maybe later. Maybe later. Maybe later. So that everybody will feel come out. Uh, Nebo TV. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for okay. joining us. Thank you for your time. Yes, and we okay. wish to have you again back here uh, with us to discuss about this issue with the with the Shelle for our country, Nigeria. Nebo TV, uh, we appreciate your time. Okay. Oh, All man. right, uh, Lillian, oh, Henry Gist, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank and you. we hope to have you again to Chukmat put for inside this thing with the Shelle for here. All oh, right, uh, Lily, you are free. Okay. Sister, uh, sister, don't, don't you, I won't go, please. Now, now, now okay. we're done. Okay, so please. sister, uh, patient Superi, thank you very much when you take join us, mm -hmm. and we happy say you join us, and we want to have you back another time. May we discuss on this issue because Nigeria matter is too heavy. Not be waiting, then they use one time. They talk, finish. All right, thank you very much. Okay, my brother, so, so now take care. Or right, bye bye. <laughs> so all right. Then. Why they look me like that now? No? Okay, all Who right. That? Everybody didn't look you good. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, uh, Lucky, give your own uh, closing remark. Uh, the small thing where I want to talk, be say, you know, uh, me, I don't believe say anything go be get ahead for Nigeria <laughs> because people, as I talk now, you know, say before, if you say that kind of statement where I talk, uh, our prophet, our pastor, they declare say there's no Bible past the Jews. They go say now that confession, I be the problem. Now, the same pastors, fear not the let them, the one will get money where we're now police and bodyguard that they call the car. Why did they tell their members say may the Holy Spirit protect you? So now it don't reach our way, we don't go to deceive ourselves again. Nigeria not the work and the it not go work. So make we tell our people for me, I'm from a do state. Uh, my grandmother, I I I, I trace her to Ababo, which is from uh, a car, I'm from a Sogba family. So that is the mother way born my own father. So then, uh, to, uh, from Ababo. So then, uh, the only thing we may go feel talk for this matter, we say, make we not they deceive our people again. And do our data. Say, election will give us future. Our people don't do it in the past. So they are now did his own, they not remember him. Because he not come from the family or the tribe of the conquest. Uh, first also, Koti Ebo, he served well for Nigeria. He died, he died during that coup. See, today, no way we didn't remember him on the federal level. So for we, we be nobody. If you want to hear Nigeria, they will tell you, say, now three tribes, now again Nigeria. Have you not heard that before? People, they use that mind to see Nigeria. Now, now they say they see right from time. Now, that arrangement, you know, they work again. That was so pure. So then you understand. Us. So now we need to we need to tell our people say Nigeria not the work and it not go ever work because before one of our sister talks he go enter bus for night for agbo he go come be me. 
then our own generation now fear not go let us enter that bus from three o'clock again because of all the way our generation create because nigeria you know they work so make we know they tell our people say now so you go take work when we vote the only way we go take work we go tell our people say because you know go work make we demand for new things restructuring if it is possible would the people allow you if that one no 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 green work we will prepare our people mind for another thing if it be crisis what you make me are you they talk here now not be insecurity fear not go let us leave it though say they go out and with a cry in say country 500 so go just discuss this call of me just sign letter say we resign you know see for new teaching in a lie those people don't see battlefront they don't see say now ordinary hand that they give them made they take go the fight we see they believe in nigeria will provide security with security no system for that security the army don't ready break today we get full of army now only they come they happy to john if a don't man say you want to go nigeria defense academy they go tell and say go bring general we go sign for you and we give space to only three people from a do state we give space to only two people from a data state but in the north not be say they no book pass also then go just pass them enter the defense academy give them the big rank so we go say it go work for us when it go take work there is no way they not include us there we then just they deceive us so me i want to use this opportunity to talk to all our stakeholders particularly the traditional leader me that they tell our people say our ancestors they were not nigerians so now these british now i can't keep the real indigenous people impose nigeria upon us and that nigeria is not working and it's not going to work the hour has come we should educate our people this okay. enemy they mean business they want to conquer us they want to take our land they sign roga we rise small now the water be done ready sign not be we go to control water they go they point their brother so any water that area if they're not approved you can't do anything so there are people go to fish they go to move around if you move for the water they go arrest you so this is the law when are we going to fish thank you my sister now small nigeria wala i big go because now small small now we go to talk and so that we go begin the ginger our people made and she say even the free and fair election we do for buari which is really election now only boko around and it's urgency now he produced the other next free and fair election if he produce work something way worse part this one because the real truth way they grant will not be one they not meet us as one and will not go feel be one may they do their own make we do our own thank make you very much thank um you. don donald give your closing remark we'll have to come back and continue with this conversation until we see head of how nigeria take better either with the restructure or with the breakout or whichever one way we know say now you won't help nigeria now you won't help we people not be now nigeria now waiting we want make people they safe for where then they make my mama then they sleep then go get rest of mind my brothers and sisters them for a door delta or anywhere the whole of nigeria make them get rest of mind if then they sleep now waiting we want so we go continue to discuss them until we see the headway to of waiting with the talk about so donald give your final remark and uh -huh. Yeah, uh, waiting my brother talk. You see, everybody will talk here today. Everybody get point. You understand? Yeah. Uh, because mm -hmm. everybody make point. Because if you check on the way forward, would you look for? Uh, if, uh, if, if somebody of that kind of age, uh, uh, Sister Lilia, come and say, since when she grow courage now, now what did she see before she still the see? Now the same testimony, me, myself, now they talk to, and I believe everybody yeah. will yeah. the house. That the same testimony too. So the only thing we get do now to educate our people, educate them. That restructuring of Nigeria. One, we have to restructure Nigeria to the extent say we go fit conduct free and fair election because that's the only way I believe say our power of the common man go they go fit they go fit go it can be heard. The power of uh, of the common man lies in the election because after that election we not get power again. That they get the power. You understand so uh i go i go advise our uh our people make we understand say this suffering where we they suffer so it all depends on them what did they go decide on what it go happen in the next coming election the insecurity matter what would they talk about the full and enhancement and all of that uh, i believe say uh, whatever they happen for the northern issue there northern state then a propaganda just to let the world know say the northern side not say me not believe if somebody call me to say what it happened last time 
uh, for 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 the president uh, state uh, na 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 re stop i go deny say and uh, president uh, that one uh, rng rng the rng now come affect the poor people because now the poor people now they go capture their children capture uh, 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 their family so so my only advice now be say i they beg the federal government make they remember say those common man with this they, they be human beings they are not only the people that have rights in Nigeria, the common man has the same rights that President Buhari has. He's the number one citizen of Nigeria. Doesn't mean he's the most important person in Nigeria. They should understand that everybody has a stand in Nigeria, that they should listen to what the common people are saying. We are praying and hoping. And regarding the, the, the religion matter, we're not going to go into religion, because if we go into religion, Nigeria will start all over from the beginning. Make we leave Nigeria for God's hand. Make we educate our people. Make we pray, say Nigeria will turn better. Because me no say, uh, if somebody come in and ask me, say whether you support me not and I go, I will tell you, say yes, I want me not and I go. Because not and has, has been the problem when Nigeria this place right from the beginning when we gain independence. So we they pray, may God do what he want to do. May the right person, make we bring a comment. Make it come out. Don't say yes. Anything will happen for the country, make on our home accountable because accountability is what Nigeria is failing to get. That is why the whole thing where we get today, not the work. Because if you cannot hold the inspector general of police for insecurity matter, and you cannot talk worry, say people don't die, make it come at home, give speech, say why this thing they happen. That means we are not moving forward. So what we need is somebody that they could call on at any time or tell you, say, ah, this thing will happen, so I'm not in support of it. This is what I'm putting in place to ensure that this kind of thing don't go happen in the future. Now, those kind of people we want, they, they take over power. And that is my take for all these things. And I pray if Nigeria not feel break up, if Nigeria stay as one country, I pray may God give us the sense and direction and understanding to vote for the right person in 2023. God bless Nigeria. Thank you very much, Dr. Thank, Don you, very much. thank so, you, thank you. <laughs> in conclusion, uh, make I just read some few comments where some people write because they took their time to write it. Um, one say, our curriculum in school is a scam. They should scrap it out of the system, okay? Check European school. Immediately they graduate from school without government employment. They can be creative because the curriculum reflects the system, which yeah. is absolutely absolutely true and uh, please god's power which is absolutely true because if you see them for here uh you go see somebody graduate from high school now with the yeah. secondary school for nigeria the person mm. if he get job the person go get something upstairs but you go see some way go graduate from nigeria as them say one plus one then go tell you say now one to one <laughs> so it's not it's not working like you rightly said, Lucky, a uh, person go graduate from a uh, school as uh, engineering. He don't know how to fix nothing. He not know what the school. Right? theory we do, you okay. know get practical aspects. Yeah, okay. no practical. Yeah. They, they tell you, say, hammer, screwdriver, uh, chisel, whatever name. You not know them. So tomorrow, when they go carry and face you, you go, they ask, we are waiting with this one. This one, a cookie. I've been a, I've been a, 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 this thing. Because you have never seen it before. Now talk, then talk, now tell, then tell you, you not know them. So they have to restructure, they have to change the system of Nigerian uh, uh, system of education. It has to change. If now, uh, school of technology, they should see what they are learning. Not be say, even the teacher, where they teach you, you not even know. You go go YouTube, go read them. You go come and go they, come they teach you. Some of them, their uh, credentials, not they valid. They enter there through I am. Say, I know who know who. Then from there, they don't put you as a teacher. The people where you they teach, all of them come be tibori bo. That one not, you know, you not good for our our place at all. And uh, another person say, how can the youth start to do something for the government when there is no provision of starter pack, uh, starter pack? Perhaps somebody that does not have someone at the corridor of power. Now the same thing where we they talk about. If there is a starter pack for them, like a foundation that is being laid. Say, okay, this one now, how to start? For example, say, somebody want to do mechanized farming. The uh, the grant to do am day available, the provision day, the land day, the equipment day, everything put in place, then get them. So all of those things need to be in place for, uh, for things 
to work out. Another one where another person talk, I'm not going to read all. So our uh, viewers, if we not read all, finish, no worry, we'll go come back for this same uh, talk because it will not finish on one day. He say our curriculum is a filled with grammar. It's filled with grammar without practical. Uh, they, they are blaming the, the citizens. They should try and take a holistic view on our education uh, architecture, our educational territory institution of learning hall is just like a european <laughs> ranch <laughs> how do you expect students to be creative in a ranch uh, uh, cognitive cognitively in a day because there is nothing it's just like an empty hall nothing all right our minister of education are not left alone because they have uh, beset the system with a high rate of men uh, do medicine mental siloquence yes <laughs> mental siloquence okay all right let me see this other one so okay he said the issue of coxism is becoming outrageous because it lacks its conformity and its understanding of educated youth that sees it as a privilege oppress their fellow forcefully it can be controlled when they are enlightened and the level of poverty in the country is too much. The youth are dying inside. That is, they are not thinking twice to do anything for survival. Now, still the same thing we will talk about, say, if they restructure the system, if they uh, educate the youth, put a, a different mindset in the youth, then go not say, okay, this life, where you just deliver them anyhow is not worth it. You have to think think twice and no say life tomorrow better than life where don't pass. So all right. Another person say I am just tired. I am just tired just from school. But let me say this a little. Security is a paramount for every is paramount for every state government. Uh, always give allocation one greed and unqualified rulers. Yahoo Yahoo leaders, corruption, domestic leaders without no feelings of empathy, hunger strike, everything. So all of these things put together, may we transfer them to when we go come back. Because if I begin with that, we go spend another six, another three hours here, we're not going to come out. So we go adjoin this uh, meeting until we come back again. So uh, Mr. Loki, Etinosa, thank you very much for joining uh, Just Me TV. We appreciate your time well, well, because it's not easy to come sit down here to talk about the matter where they uh, where they shall left our country for whole three hours so we really appreciate your time just me tv appreciate your time don donald just me tv appreciate your time and we are sure you that we are bringing you back make we finish the discussion because you know go end here when i do well thank you very much thank you so much thank you. So thank you thank you mr donald good night right. thank you it's it's a pleasure, man. <laughs> yeah it's a pleasure right. meeting you here yeah, thank you thank yeah, you we, Bye. We, we pray for better nigerians because we are ah. nigerian and we believe the only way forward is uh, god will intervene god will intervene. I, 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 I pray man, i pray that yeah. he work for us yeah. but uh, open we our, our, make our, our, mind, our eyes to see mm. But uh, that prayer of uh, it's not the way with the prayer. It's not the yes. So me.